Oh. Well, <laughs> hi guys. How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're all doing amazing. Welcome to the, today's Thursday, right? Today's Thursday. Welcome to the Thursday stream. Um, everybody welcome. I look so Halloween. It's actually a red shirt. It's not getting caught very well in the, uh, in the light here. Actually, I got to get these lights on. I wasn't ready. I was not ready. <laughs> My bad, everybody. But welcome to the stream. Um, I'm very excited about today for many, many, many reasons. One of them is because I'm excited every day I get to stream because I'm a walking stereotype. Let me go like this. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. Let me turn this on. You get some tunes. You get some tunes just kind of to get us talking, but what's up everybody? We've already had a lot of things going on. Cherry Griffin, Rosie, Rosiris, uh, Rabbit Riot, King J. Uh, I think I saw uh, Pure Chaos and, um, oh my gosh, there's so many people here already. So thank you very much everyone for being here. Um, who else said hello? I think Jay Wynn, did you say hello? I don't know, Limna, welcome to the stream. Um, goodness gracious, everybody. Thank you all very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, there were probably some hosts that I missed in my in my scramble of getting everything correct and done. So we got King J, Miss Cuppy Cake, Caustic, Pure Chaos, and Cherry Griffin with the host. Thank you guys so very much. Um, we've got this like trancey music right now, apparently. That's that's probably pretty cool. There are always jokes in the stream. That could be that could be debated, Wolf Girl Warrior, and welcome to the stream. Uh, hopefully you're having all uh, a great day and a great week so far. Um, I'm doing pretty dang well. I got some really good news right before the stream started, kind of, <clears throat> a little bit earlier. I like this music. This is a nice little trance. This is a good, like, we're talking music, right? This is good. This is good. This is a good start. I like it. I like it. All right, so. What we're going to do today is I'm going to first tell you my monologue. Thank you again very much, everybody, for being here. Um, right before I got home from work, I got a really sweet email that is an announcement that I'm going to drop into you guys' faces and your ear holes in about 45 minutes. All right. So about an hour into the stream, I'm going to do this announcement. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've, I've let my, my, my community in Discord already know what's going to be happening but the greater public does not know. Uh, so yeah, I'm totes excited about this. Craners fan, thank you so much for the follow. Very much welcome and stuff and things. Uh, welcome to the kitchen it's in the beginning of the stream here. I like this song though. This is a great, this is a great tune. It's called Lark. Can I screenshot that? No? There we go. This is a nice little, this is a nice jam. I really like this. Um, but yeah, so announcement in about 45 minutes. I don't have a fancy counter or anything set up for it. Um, at least not yet. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll have a big announcement, we'll, uh, I'll have an announcement set up, announcement counter just to like really tease it, you know what I mean? Pims, thank you so much for the host, dude. Appreciate ya. Um, yeah, mods, I've, 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 I've done a little bit more responsibility and I've added some, some timers to some of my commands because sometimes they're getting a little spammy. So just let, let you guys know that. So. Um, I am going to be making risotto tonight. Now, a lot of people think risotto, very, very challenging, very, very difficult. You're absolutely right. I'm just kidding. Mostly kidding. You can easily screw up risotto. Cause chaos. Cause chaos. That's a great ship name. I really like that. The SS cause chaos. It sounds like you're causing mayhem. I like it a lot. You should, you guys should go with that. I appreciate it. Under the maple tree. Thank you. That's a fine community indeed. Um, fine community of, of very beautiful people uh, there if you are interested in such things. Just ask the Pims about it. He'll give you the link. <laughs> no, but okay, so I'm gonna make risotto. Now, normally I would prefer to make risotto with homemade stock. I don't have any. I still have to do a stream where I make stock on stream. That's gonna be a really long one, so I gotta kinda plan it out and do a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna make risotto from scratch using some techniques. So my favorite, probably one of my favorite food websites is SeriousEats.com. Uh, I couldn't link a specific recipe that I'm using from the site because I'm really like pulling techniques from two separate, um, two separate of their recipes and, and kind of combining them to whatever I'm doing tonight. Hopefully it works out. I don't see why it wouldn't work out, but it's me. Surely something will go wrong. Uh, the second thing is I'm going to be making, I'm going to stuff that with, uh, I got some cremini mushrooms and some dried porcinis. 
So I'm gonna rehydrate the porcinis and then chop them up, saute them real nice and good, throw them in with the risotto, and then I got some prosciutto. Pr prosciutto? That's not even a thing. That's not even a thing. Like, I mean, just, just forget it, guys. I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Pros, pros, pros. I can say this word. I can't say this word. Prosciutto. Prosquito. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dr. Boom, what's up, man? Yeah, it's my favorite. It's my favorite site for reals. All right. So, <laughs> pros prosciutto. Why can't I say that word? Ham. Fancy Italian ham. And I have a nice. I have some nice pork chops. I'm gonna season them up real, real simple, sear it up real nice and good, and then uh, slice it up, put that on top, have a nice thing. Uh, should be good. Pro squid, yes. Pro squid. Pro prosciutto, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dead Pixel. I don't know what the heck it was all about. I just... We'll get there eventually, we'll get there. What's up, Belfast? Welcome, fancy Italian ham, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Uh, not ready for this. Let's move along, move along. Okay, I kind of like this jam. Again, I'm still working through this playlist, so we'll, I'll be playing stuff. Fancy Italian <laughs> prosciutto. Dude, Pierre, don't even question it. Just like, oop, sorry, I hit the microphone. You don't even have to question it, just do it. Always, when in doubt, just do it. What's up, Twisted? Finally getting around to getting that the book, Dr. Boom, I have it, and I had it, I, I bought it, I pre-ordered it, so I got it right when it came out, and uh, admittedly, I just cracked it open like a week ago, two weeks ago, I got some good good, good ideas out of it. Uh, it's a beautiful book, man, holy crap. I wish I could get like, I could shill, like, like, like Kenji should come sponsor me because I could, I could bestow nice things upon his cookbook. It's a beautiful cookbook, dude, I highly recommend it. Trying to get people involved. Oh, I got you, Pure. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, let's start doing stuff. All right. So the first thing along that I want to do is, as I'm Italian, I'm ashamed. You're ashamed of me. Why are you? Sh what did I do? Oh, because I can't say prosciutto. Prosquito. Same pan, Cherry. What you want to do is go ahead and start cooking the, uh, uh, you want to start cooking the, the hockey puck first and get that, you know, mostly done and then cook the actual steak alongside it. So that way you get a head start. Win every time. Finally. <laughs> What's up, gonorrhea pizzeria? Nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> uh, let me start getting ingredients together, just so uh, you're not just looking at me talking and, and looking at my, my board stabilizer over here, which should be right there. Perfect. <laughs> that name is, is legit, right? Gonorrhea Pizzeria. Hopefully you don't get gonorrhea from going to a pizzeria, but hey, anything could happen in this world. So, I need some chicken stock. Again, I don't have... I don't have the fancy stuff that I would normally make because I'm lazy. Uh, it's, it's not a hard process. I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably know the process of making homemade stock. Uh, it's not terribly difficult. It's just time consuming. Uh, let's see, I got, I've got fancy Arborio rice. It's a medium grain Italian style rice. Uh, so because of the way that the starch granules are aligned uh, in the Arborio, it it works, that's all I'm saying. You're vegan, what's up, Ross? Don't kill anything. Well, I haven't, with the exception of maybe, no, I've, I've never actually killed anything on stream, right? <laughs> Except my own feelings. All right, so I got some shallots. I'm gonna need some garlic.
Uh, let's see, I got some garlic here. I've actually got some pretty decent looking garlic, so I'm gonna use that. Now, if you were here for Tuesday's stream, you will know Tuesday's stream was absolutely, and I don't swear very often, so heed my words, friends. Tuesday's stream was absolutely batshit crazy in the best way possible, okay? Unfortunately for me, uh, we ended really late because the hype was real. I mean, just unbelievable things were happening in that stream. I went to bed super late. My hope, my hope, and this is kind of like counterproductive, but my hope is tonight's stream is a little bit on the shorter side so I can get to bed at a reasonable hour because, man, I was so tired yesterday. Woo! Hey, what's up, all these... What's up, you people? You beautiful people. I, Furido? 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 I don't know if that's how you say your name, but welcome to the stream, man. I'm doing pretty good. I am doing a pretty good. Tuesday was fun. You're absolutely right, Dr. Boom. You are absolutely right. I guess I should, I, get, I, I should start doing stuff, right? I have a lot to do. How's this going? I feel like my camera moved. It didn't. It most definitely did not, but I feel like it did. I don't know. Burrito is good too. I Burrito. I will call you what I call. <laughs> I will call you whatever I feel like, and you will like it. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Pros prosciutto. Of course, it's called prosciutto, guys. Why didn't? Come on. Obviously, I know how to say prosquito. Pro quo. Pro pro quid quo. Pro quid. Pros. Pro just just leave me alone. Leave Chef alone! What kind of herbs do I got in here? I got some, some good Parmigiano Reggiano cheese as well. Uh, I've got tarragon that looks like it might be dying. <laughs> I'll keep it though, because that's what I do. Ooh, I do have time. The time is not dead. Now is the time. I didn't eat dinner either. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Just stop talking. Okay, fine. Jeez. Unfortunately, though, I mean, I feel like it would be a less entertaining stream if I were just to shut up. You know what I mean? All right. So I've got here some baby Bella, baby Bella whole mushrooms. Wait, baby Bella whole mushrooms. Um, these are these are just. Uh, they're, they're called cremini mushrooms. Else, elsewise, they're called creminis. And oh god, I'm dropping them. Everything's fine. Nothing to be. I need to start over. What's happening? I'm gonna wash these guys anyway. So five second rule. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. But uh, but yeah. So these are these are baby bella cremini mushrooms. They're they're small. They're like they're baby portobello mushrooms basically. Hence the name baby bella. Uh, they are not in the Twilight movies and small. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they're they're nice. They're nice. And then I have some dried porcini mushrooms uh, because porcinis are very expensive and they my grocery store only really has them dried. So, like, my grocery store has, like, the fresh mushrooms, like the button mushrooms, portobellas, the baby bellas. Uh, but if you want to get exotic, you got to get them dried. And this actually works out in our favor because I'm going to be able to extract a lot of really good mushroomy flavor from this. And um, it's gonna be good. I'll show you a nice trick with this, but I do need to, I need to like clean these somehow. So I guess I'll run them quickly under some water just to like get rid of any dirt, maybe? Oh man, they smell really rich though. I've never actually used porcinis at home. I've, 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 I've eaten them before. They're very, very good. Very woody, very woodsy, very delicious. I'm excited about this. If you want to get exotic, get a truffle and a caviar. What do you? What kind of craziness are you talking, man? Truffle? <laughs> I ain't got no truffle. We got a follower, Dan, twenty-four forty-two. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having an awesome Thursday. Uh, I really do appreciate the support of the broadcast. So what I'm gonna do, do is grab just my colander and I'm gonna dump the mushrooms here into, so that the baby bellas are going into the colander and I'm gonna rinse these guys off just really quick and toss them around. Sorry, you can't see what's happening. You can't see, this is for, for private eyes only. They're watching you, 
Private eye. <clears throat> Alright, so that'll be fine. I need to get a bag for my trash too. Oh, hey, my cheese things works. Nice. All right. <laughs> um, let's go here. All right. So, how's everybody doing out there in the world of the internet? Hopefully you're all doing awesome, for realsies. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. Hopefully we have a good night together. We exchange phone numbers. I'm just kidding. We're not going to exchange phone numbers. Zerkalt. Zerkalt? I don't know how, it's probably about right. Zerkalt, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Welcome to the kitchen, welcome to the stream. Have we having a good Thursday. Stuff and things. So, I'm like, I don't know why I'm stalling so hard. I'm gonna put the prosciutto back in the fridge, though. I'm not quite ready for the prosciutto. The prosciutto. So, I've got herbs. I've got that. So maybe what I'll do, do 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 do. I'll let it flow away. Chef can have your number. Seven. Nice. Electro Nish? Nish? Electro Nish? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the stream. Happy. Happy day. 8675309. How did you know my phone number? Why do I feel like that's crooked? I feel like my camera is now somehow crooked. I need to align that. Um, how am I cooking the pork chops? Drizzy, what's up, dude? I'm just gonna sear them, basically. I'm just gonna season them up real nice and then just like pan fry them in, uh, in some olive oil, maybe some garlic. I don't know how I feel about it. Do, 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 do. What do you actually say in the gift thing when people follow? Oh, when people follow Ross, I say, Oh my God, nerd follower. <laughs> um, somebody said something in the chat. I'm, I'm like totally scatterbrained on it now. So if I missed a question or something like that, I apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm intending not to, to screw this up tonight. This is, cr this is crooked and it's triggering me a little bit. Pan fried earlier, pan friend, pan friend. <laughs> All right, I got a nice little, I got a nice little ramekin for my shallots, and I got a nice little yellow silicon cuppy do for the uh, the garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and open up, open up the arborio. Best of you. Oh, okay, we have two years to use this arborio. Newfie guy, what's up, dude? What's up, Newfie? Actually, Swedish Chef could make a really good. Oh my gosh! What if instead of uh, instead of my my audible follow alert being me saying "I'm a gardener follower," I could get a sound clip of the Swedish Chef going "Burger, burger, burger." <laughs> Dang it! I kind of like that. If it's making me laugh, I kind of like that. I need to I need to remember it up here in the brain face. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, constantly on the pursuit to make this stream as good as it can possibly be. My wood's crook, yeah. I find cooking very interesting. Well, Dan, I'm glad you're here because I try to make it interesting to varying levels of success. <laughs> I try though, and that, that, that's gotta count for something, right? RK1012, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciate. Shadow Demon, what's up, man? Remember Swedish Chef notification. I have a feeling you guys won't let me forget that one. I gotta think about it. It has to be short, because we've been getting a lot of follows lately. It has to be kind of short. And I, I, I don't know, I kind of like the, the actual GIF like being my face. I don't know if I would change that, but I like it being... Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, uh, I'm not even paying attention to my knife, which is generally not a good thing. Just 30 minutes before the announcement, and then I'll probably be talking about it like 83 times before the end of the strum, because that's what I do. Um, so I got some shallots here. I'm gonna cut into these 
shallot. Mm, I like these shallot. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Copyright gonna stab me in the butt. Now I don't I don't think so much, King. I don't think so much, because like people um like there's a streamer I watch whose follow alert is the cookie monster. It pops out the side of the screen and it goes, Cookie! And he doesn't get hit with uh, with any sort of copyright stuff that I'm aware of. <laughs> the caliber of these jokes. <laughs> The 45 cali caliber. Uh, Adam Adam Bernstein, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the stream. I almost gave away the announcement right now. <laughs> I almost just said something that would give it away. I'm not going to do it. Announcement in a half an hour, guys. I'm super hype about it. Super duper hype about it. It'll be all over the Twitters and stuff and things. Why the hell are you... It's almost as though I have a command for that. Thank you, Pims. <laughs> so, I'll, in addition to what the uh, the command says, it was that lolly lol, lol. It's just easier for me than to constantly have to like wash my hands uh, for uh, for using stuff like onions and garlic and stuff like that, especially with meats. But I'd use it with vegetables too because it's just easier. You know, if I get like onion juice all over here and I don't have to like wash it and stuff. Because I'm lazy. It's also because when I wash my hands, like, you guys can't see me. I'm off camera. Which, in some cases, probably a good thing. Probably a good thing, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the guy in the song just said, I don't want to love you when you're stoned. I'm better off on my own. <laughs> okay. Tell it like it is, dude, bro. Makina Azul30, thank you so much for the follow. And Georgia CG, thank you so much for the follow, guys. Much appreciate. You know, I could, um, as far as like the the Swedish chef thing. I mean, I could try to do my best impression of it. You know, like I can use my my microphone at my PC, which is a little bit better, uh, as far as like making a. a, a a quality soundbite and just actually like listen to an hour. I could just zone out and do ASMR of the Swedish chef borking in my ear. That sounds gross. Um, <laughs> but then being able to just channel channel my inner bork and just go bork, bork, bork. I don't know. It had to sound pretty close. Digging the stream. Thank you, Makina. Appreciate it. Katerika, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome to the kitchen. It's kind of the, the chill portion, it's, it's the chill portion early stream, you know what I mean? It's like I'm, I'm finding my groove a little bit later, we'll get, it'll be hype, we'll have Hype Central. I have an announcement coming up in like a half hour or something, things. Bacon Bro, what's up dude? Welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here, Bacon Brotato. Thank you for dropping, dropping us, dropping by. I'm just trying to uh, unpaperify this shallot. I'm trying to un unpaperfy the shallot. These are actually pretty good looking shallots too. I bought them at the stow yesterday. And I was like, thank you for not looking absolutely horrible. I do have onions that I could have used, but I was like, you know what, this risotto, I want the I want I really want the mushrooms to be front and center, but I think a nice small dice on the uh, on the shallot here is gonna be a really nice addition. And uh, it'll just be it'll be really nice. It'll just be like a little a little dusting of flavor, so to speak. That's the dumbest thing I have ever said. And that's saying a lot, isn't it? I'm just kidding. I've said much dumber stuff than that. You shall not succeed. No, I, I shall succeed shallot. Look at me. Look at me succeeding. All right, that's good. And then do I have two more little pieces here? All right. Better off alone. Do, 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 do. Ooh, this one. Okay, you know what? I just said how nice these shallots look, and this one looks like poop. That is actually disgusting. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So Tuesday's stream, 
you know, I was dancing around, I was acting a fool, I was doing all sorts of craziness. I woke up on Wednesday, and for one, I didn't get very much sleep. I was utterly exhausted. Um, but holy crap, I woke up, my back was so sore. I was like, am I that out of shape? That's some boogieing down in my kitchen, and I wake up with a sore lower back. I'm like, what the, what the frick? What the frick? That's what I say to that. I had said hi at least 15 minutes ago. Drizzy, I said hi to you, dude. I said hi to you, Drizzy. That white guy, 69420. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Hopefully, hope, hopefully you're having a good Thursday. You guys have anything exciting coming up on the weekend? You guys got any plans for the weekend? Anything cool happening? What's happening in the world? I need to know. I need to know what the world is doing on Saturday. Or just this weekend in general. If you're not doing anything, that's totally fine too. At Pure. Oh, okay. Cause you said senpai. I don't know, man. Most most times, saying senpai is directed at the at the at the broadcaster. <laughs> pure. pure. All right, we're getting through here. All right, I believe. Is that everything? Get this papery crap off of the shallot. Oh, that's it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Work, 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 work. There we go. Awesome. Football is back. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I was going to watch your stream this weekend. Wee-woo. American football starts tonight. Oh, there goes having conversations with people at work. Not that I... Oh, okay. I have, I have to tell you guys a, a pretty funny story. So, I'm kind of an introvert in real life. And uh, I had to do this, like, training thing at work, at my real job. And it was, like, about respecting the work, workplace. And so the instructor dude bro was up there and he's like, everyone, pl let's go around the room as the icebreaker and tell everyone your name and like how long you've been at the company, what do you do here? And uh, you know, how about, give us a word that describes how you like to be treated in the workplace. And I was like, oh boy, here we go. I hate these things. I absolutely hate these things. But I was like, as long as he doesn't make us work in groups, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna go four cloves of garlic with this because I'm crazy Dave. That's a lot of garlic for this. Zoom, zoom Zolatoy. Oh gosh, I probably butchered that, but thank you so much for the follow. So everyone's going around the room, right? So he goes around and everyone things are saying like, I like to be treated with uh, professionalism. I like to be treated with uh, humor. I like to be treated like an equal and all these really serious things, you know what I mean? Which is fine, which is fine. Gets over to me, and I said, hello, I'm, I'm Chef Lethal. Uh, my two year anniversary was just the other day. I do awesome things. And my one word on how I'd like to be treated in the workplace is solitarily. And the guy looked at me sideways, like he'd never, like he's, he's probably done a hundred of these classes and he's never had anyone say that they wanted to be treated with solitarily. He's like, you like to be left alone. I was like, oh yes. I'm the most productive when I'm left alone. <laughs> so this is pretty funny. Chris Pratt, you're not the first person that said that. <laughs> yeah, so the guy was really confused. But like, like, no, you don't understand, because I have a coworker that sits on the end of an aisle, and like, he gets bothered all the time. People just want to go by and chat with him, and he chats with them. He doesn't get anything done. But me, I kind of sit like away from everyone and I'm still relatively new. I don't like really branch out and talk to a bunch of people. So I don't get bothered. I get so much work done when I feel like doing it, but I get so much work done. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I like to be left alone, man. Cod tongues? How do you have cod tongues, dude? That sounds crazy. Let's get down on some, uh, on some shallots here first. Actually, Oh, let's, let's wait for the drop. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, that's a good one. I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Let's do it. Oh, snap. Bring some Russia. Zoom Zolotoy. Oh. Welcome from America, dude. Welcome to the stream, man. Moving like a soldier. Let's get down to some of these shallots, bros. So I'm kind of, kind of, kind of cutting off the, the little bit of root, and I'm gonna slice off the little, the little nipple, because the little nipple is a little kind of gross. So a little bit of root and the little tip, just the tip. So I'm gonna try to keep a little bit of the root intact here on the shallot. This one still has a, a small layer of paper right, right here. I need you to go away, go away. Woo! Okay, we're fine. I almost had a shallot missile, shallot projectile. Hello from Germany, Tristan. Never had, co I've never heard of cod tongues, dude. Are you kidding me? The piece underneath the tongue, it looks like a tongue. Oh, I get you. I had no idea. Zero one two three. Zero one underscore two three. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. You'd think if I say it enough times, I get used to like actually what day it is. Nah. Nah way, mate. Alright, whatever, that works. Dude, these shells are kinda slimy. These are kinda slimy, like they're trying to get away from the cops. So I'm saving all the <laughs> I'm saving all the exciting stuff for after we make the announcement, you know what I mean? Tristan Tristan Freesang, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome, welcome from America to Germany. Together, we can cross international boundaries. I already do that anyway, man. <laughs> Twitch is good for that. Here we go. So I'm just getting out. A bit of the nasty nast. Oh, here we go. Dude, this song is like... La Faya, right? Moving like a soldier. You don't know what you're missing. I don't need a lot of fish, to be, to be fair. Cod tongue. I mean, obviously, I've never even heard of that. I thought you were yanking my proverbial chain. All right. So, I'm going to try to do a relatively small mince here. So, I'm just gonna come along like this. Oop. So, making a, a grid along the top. Alright. And I'm gonna do that for all these guys. close one. I don't want to go through the actual route because then we have a bad time. They're temporarily. Whoa. Did I miss something? Are you guys talking about my cameras and how this one's backwards? <laughs> in before I almost stabbed myself in the eyeball. All right, so I'm going to do all the, all the, all the vertical cuts first. Like this. There we go. One more. One more. Yes. That's cool. Let's not wave knives around as bad. What do you mean? I'm sure it's fine. That would be. No, I, I, I'd be playing, my luck would be I'm playing around with the knife and then I would actually cut myself doing something like easy like this. Meanwhile, I'm having like a dance party. I'm like, that's how I have a dance party. It looks really awful. Oh my God, here. Good knife. 
No, this knife is actually not so much. <laughs> it's a little on the dull side. I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to get it sharpened on Saturday. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I keep saying every Saturday, like, I need to get all these knives sharpened, and I never do it. Anyway, so I'm gonna go with a, uh, a kind of a small mince here, or dice, excuse me, like that. Uh, it's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna all get cooked down anyway. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not loving this knife right now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys. Not loving the knife tonight. I don't know if it's the. I'm gonna blame the shallots. I'm blaming the shallots on this one. I'm blaming the shallots on this one, guys. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's good. All right, that's probably okay for that one. What do you as they I feel like this guy in this song kind of sounds a little bit like Weird Al. Kind of a little bit. It makes me happy. I think I'm one of the few people that like actually can appreciate Weird Al's music. Weird Al got lucky too, man. He became, he hit, he hit the niche, the niche, niche, niche. I don't know. He hit it right at the right time because that really, I don't think he could still be relevant today if he started like 10 years ago. But instead, he started like 30 years ago, and that's crazy. Crazy. We got a bunch of weird out lovers in the chat. You hear it too. All right, good. <laughs> I've said that to other people before about this song. They're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, all right. Clearly, you guys don't know about the weird owl. Clearly. All right, I'm switching gears a little bit. Switching gears, because I'm not happy with that knife. Definitely not, ha oh, ha, 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 how are you doing? All right, don't suck. Please, eh, it's just onions, it's fine. All right, switching up, switching up to my Santuku. I use this one a little bit less, especially lately. I become a hunter. Hi life, what's up bro? Happy you're here, man. Oh man, 13 minutes according to my clock. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to I'm going to just since I don't have a countdown timer on the stream. All right. Come on knife, don't fail me. Oh, that's much Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. I feel so much better about this knife. Get a much cleaner cut. Here we go. I'm good with that. Let's keep moving. You did it! <laughs> Man, I, I'm not... I'm now reminded what... Lights, please. Lights, please. Uh, I'm now reminded why I don't really use shallots all that often. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive than onions, but they're also kind of a pain in the butt to get a nice dice on. Dice on? Isn't that a vacuum? <laughs> Isn't that a vacuum? And my prep bowl is not big enough. My prep bowl isn't big enough. See, I'm already at the brim with uh, with the shallot. Have I ever watched Chef Lethal? No. Dice on? Dice off. <laughs> Smashed the guitar. Uh, yes, some of them do. They don't have the address though. I think one 
One of them has the address. One of them's son has come to the stream. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Luckily, I don't talk that much about work, so it's fine. Chef, when I cook, can you beat my Mr. Miyagi? Yes, my son. Wait, he doesn't say that, does he? No, he probably doesn't say that. I need a bigger container <clears throat> for that. For my shallot. Because I have a shallot of them. I'm so funny. <clears throat> I'm so funny. Is this even on? I feel like this isn't on random. It is on random. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Boop. Penny spilled the cargo. Oh, oh my gosh. How center. That sounds awful. Am I a full-time streamer? Sis, sis, I wish I, wish I was. Um, I wish I was, but no. Not quite there. This is just my hobby. My full-time job, I just do office work. I'm an office worker. I totally missed this shallot altogether. So let me dice this guy up real quick. This is a nice little fun dance song, too. This is a good playlist so far, man. I like it. Ooh, that was a little bit big. That's fine. I'm good with that. <laughs> Seppling Chimp, thank you so much for the, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Got a chat, look at Sprout. Goodness gracious, man. I feel like I'm being trolled by the shallot right now. I will not, I will not be had by an allium. I will not be had by a vegetable. Screw you, shallot. I own you. I bought you. Wait, when you put it that way, it sounds kind of like slavery. <laughs> what? What am I even saying? All right, let's keep keep on going. Imagine that it actually works better when I do what I'm supposed to do. So, like, technically, you're not supposed to lift your knife when you're doing a dice like this. And and I'll be darned when I actually listen to that advice. Everything goes better. It goes better and stuff. Whoop. Up. Whoop. 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 <laughs> All right, that's good. We got lots of shallots. I love shallots. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. I love shallots like Kel loves orange soda. True story. True story. Slap Chop. You're gonna love my nuts. I'm Vince from Slap Chop. Oh man. What's this drop? That's actually, that might actually be a little bit too much shallot for tonight, but I, I'll definitely use it for other nights. You know what I mean, Vern? You know what I mean, Vern? Let me get rid of the ramekin that I've been using. That's good, that's good. All right, let me clean off that, and we'll start smashing the garlic. You may like smashing pumpkins, but I like smashing garlic. There we go. All right, let's see if this is troll garlic or not. Let's see if the paper will come off easily. Hey, hey. This is fresh garlic, man. It smells, it's smelling up my house already. 
This is another big reason why I use gloves, guys, is like, this garlic is so freaking sticky. So I'm like using my knife and my gloved hand to, to make it edible. I'm the Ramsey Bolton of garlic cleaning because I'm taking all the skin off. Sorta. Of. Oh, wow, wow. Rabbit Zero Rabbit, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. I'm, not, I'm like ignoring chat right now because I'm just having a friggin' dance party. Having a dance party. You were, you were very bad, Garlic. You tried to run away. You tried to run away from the castle. I will teach you a lesson. You're not gonna need that ever again. So weird. This guy I'm watching on the internet is weird. His name's Chef Lethal. He's cool though, he's just weird. He's got a poofy hat. He dances with knives. That's my that's my uh, Native American name, dances with knives. I think uh, I think somebody already told that joke a few weeks ago though. I'm stealing it. It's my joke now. It's my joke now, bitches. Time is now. I don't know, man. I don't know. Give me an uptime. Give me an uptime because it's going to funk you up. And don't worry, guys. I'm always paying attention to the amount of work that I do. That's the beauty about, about being a semi-professional. It's like I'm goofing off and I'm like mincing the hell out of this garlic, but I'm still paying attention to how much I'm mincing. Even though I may not look like I am, I'm paying attention. Ever vigilant with the garlic here. I ain't no scrub. I know you guys don't want no scrubs. Maxo CX, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the stream. Because I'm about to drop an announcement on you fools. And by fools, I mean people that I love very much for being here. So, some of you know because you're in my Discord and I, I announced it because I was super excited about it. But, 
There's a lot of you that may not know what's going happening. Oh, yes. And no, it's not that I'm just gonna become a professional stream dancer. Cause that's, that's not the thing. All right, so check it out guys. Here we go. Are you ready? I even turned the music down for you, okay? This is the deal. This is the deal. If you're enjoying the stream, if you're enjoying what's going on, you're gonna love this announcement. I'm loving this announcement. I've gotten some crazy support about this announcement. Who dat, who dat? Ozzy Carrillo, thank you so much for the follow. So, had an awesome chance, unfollowed block. That's all right, I'll unmod you pimps, no big deal. So, um, every Friday here on Twitch, there is a Twitch show. Uh, it's called Twitch Weekly, I think, something like that. And uh, every, every week they go through updates to the platform, everything that's going on with like any like updates to the, the chat they're doing or anything like that. They also have uh, spotlights on new games that are coming out that people are probably gonna be streaming. And they also have featured slots for streamers. They do like a featured partner streamer. Obviously I'm not partnered, that's not the announcement. Uh, I'm not getting partnered, that's not the announcement. But they have a featured creative streamer. They have a featured creative streamer. And this week, tomorrow, it's me. I am going to be the featured Twitch creative streamer on Twitch Weekly. So I had to put together like an application. There's this highlight video I had to do. So the, so this is all happening tomorrow. Twitch Weekly starts at about 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is like now minus three hours. And after about 45 minutes is when the creative spotlight gets shown. Um, last time I saw this happen, uh, there were about 5,000 people watching. And then at the end of the stream, at the end of the Twitch weekly show, which is about, um, about 15 or 20 minutes after that, the Twitch channel is going to raid me because I'm going to be live tomorrow with a special stream specifically for this reason. So this kind of screws up my schedule a little bit, what I had planned. So originally I was going to stream tonight and then I was gonna take a few days off and then have special project Sunday where, I'm, where I was gonna make uh, American Chinese food. I was gonna make sesame chicken and fried rice, but we're moving that. So now that Sunday stream is going to be tomorrow. So tomorrow starting at the same time as Twitch. So I'm gonna be starting also at 4 p.m. Eastern daylight-ish roundabouts. Um, I'm gonna be making tomorrow special project Friday uh, where I'm gonna be making the sesame chicken and the fried rice and maybe some steamed broccoli or something. But the hype is going to be real. Uh, Vertle, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I, think, I think tomorrow is gonna be absolutely insane. Um, the, the last experience I had watching a fellow cooker streamer have this uh, opportunity, uh, they went from having 30 people watching their stream to about 400. <laughs> So chat is going to be lit. The hype is going to be real. I'm super duper excited about it. Like I literally found out about this on my drive home from work today, like three hours ago. And I was just like, oh my God, I have plans. But Mrs. Lethal is being super amazing and we're working it out so that I can be live tomorrow night to do the stream. Um, it's it's going to be it's going to be pretty sweet. Pims, I saw your whispered and thank you very much. Can you also uh, PM me on Discord because I'm going to probably forget. Um, you could probably also do it yourself. You could, I think it's like exclamation point command add something. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I can do it easily uh, later. Um, but yeah, so that's the big announcement is tomorrow. It's a huge, it's a huge deal. So ideally what I would like is obviously I'd like you here at the stream beginning and we can hang out at the beginning and I'll be doing stuff. But I really, I really encourage you guys to go check out my highlight video if you're curious, like if this is your first time here and you want to get a better idea of what I'm all about. I, I spent a lot of time on my highlight video that, that they have. It's a minute-ish long, it's a little over a minute long, and I feel like it perfectly encapsulates what the stream is about and what I'm about, and uh, I'm really excited. I put a lot of work into it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so. Uh, Thank you, Pims. Um, yeah, so that's that's my announcement. Um, if you're new, you may not be thinking it's that huge of, huge of a deal, but for me, like I'm really, really excited about it. Tuesday's stream was absolutely lit. Uh, it was crazy. We hit all sorts of goals today. Um, like, I'm, I'm trying to keep it a little bit lower key, but I'm already super hype about it. And then tomorrow is just gonna be insane. Uh, I have a raid game. Uh, for, those of guys, for those of you that are new out there, I do have a raid, I'm gonna turn the music back on because I feel like I'm yelling. 
Um, but yeah, so I have a raid game that I play, so I've already contacted the person that's gonna be in the raid, and I was like, homebro, homebro? Home dude, bro, bro him, protein shake. You are gonna be the point man for my raid game. He doesn't, I don't think he even knows what the raid game is all about, but um, the highlight reel shows it. But uh, that's gonna be awesome to get a bunch of people in there voting on the on the stream. Um, my moderators already know that they're gonna have to be like on it because <laughs> I imagine there's gonna be a lot of a lot of trolly people. But hopefully the hype will just be insane and super cool. JJ Styles, thank you so much for the follow. Can you put the highlight video in Discord after they show it? Yes, definitely. King J, what I'll try to do uh, if I'm a good chef, if I remember, uh, I will scour the vod after the fact, like maybe on Saturday morning, I'll scour the VOD and then uh, maybe I'll highlight it around the time that they do it. Cause they, they give me a nice little intro and then they're gonna, they're gonna show my video and then at the end of it, everyone's gonna run over. It's gonna be crazy. Um, I, know, I know I can trust you guys. My mods, my mods are, my mods are the, the, the silent assassins when it comes to that sort of stuff in a good way. Even though they're not really silent, they're chatting all the time. Um, I'm really excited. Really, really excited, okay? Like, I didn't even think it was gonna be... So like, I have a, I have a contact at Twitch and uh, I had asked her, I was like, hey, is there any opportunity that I can like do something like that? And she was like, submit your application here. And this woman like adores me kind of thing. I think I cut too much garlic. I'm gonna only use this much. I know you, you say too much garlic, it's not, but I don't want overpoweringly, overpoweringly garlicness um anyway so she was like if you want you know you can send over your clip to me and i can give you some advice i can give you some feedback if you want and i was like oh that'd be awesome so i sent her my clip show my clip thing my highlight reel and she said my only feedback for you is don't change anything never change you are amazing and i love you submit that effort i was like oh okay so I guess it's okay. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Because if you're new out there and you're wondering, like, why am I making such a big deal about it or whatever, it, I, I, I take a lot of pride in my stream and everything about it. So, like, I, I, I try to I treat my moderators with, like, respect. Like, it's an actual, like, job and I'm, like, a boss. I'm a bo like a boss. You know, I've got, like, a professional nice overlay. I don't have a lot of, like, flashy, colorful things that are super obnoxious because I feel like that kind of takes away from the stream. So, you know, I, I took a lot of time to make sure that the advertisement for my stream conveys that as well. I'm, I'm just really proud of it, guys. I'm just really proud of it. Garlic butter for later, that's not a bad idea. Kasi, did you already make the, uh, or did somebody already make the command? Schedule. Chef Lethal's live Tuesdays, Thursdays. Awesome. Nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So, I'm going to rinse off the, uh, the board here and rinse off my knife. Told Pims how to do it. Look at that teamwork, guys. I love the teamwork. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Caustic and Pims. Thank you, guys. I think that's a valuable thing for you guys to know as, as moderators, because I feel like a lot of, I use Ankbot, I feel like a lot of people use Ankbot, and knowing how to make uh, commands like that is, is pretty useful, pretty useful. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep using the Santuku here, because I, I, I feel like I can trust it. I feel like I can trust my knife. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic Moments, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. All right. I do... I do kind of wish... I do kind of wish that Twitch would have given me a little bit more notice. <laughs> a little bit more notice, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Make it work. Thinking on the fly. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not plan on streaming tomorrow. I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping and I have to... Luckily, I'm working from home tomorrow, so uh, that kind of works, but whatever. It's all good, Mayan. 
So, King J, you can totally tweet about it now if anyone wants to. I'm not like saying you have to or anything, but King J asked me earlier if he, if he could tweet about it. Uh, but yeah, the announcement's out. I'll tweet about it later um, because I'm like super excited about it. So, I've got now, I've got my, uh, my cremini mushrooms over here and they look like they are clean-ish. So I'm gonna put these guys in a, a package of, of paper here. And by that I of course mean just paper towels. All right, here we go. Woo, almost lost some. We're good, everything's fine. Okay. So in case you didn't know, I have a dog. <laughs> Bye, Pims. Drive safe, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Cam upgrade? What cam upgrade? What you talking about? I mean, I would like a third. I would like a third eventually, but I have other priorities before I get a third camera. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the third camera, first of all. That's white boy dancing right there, just jumping up and down and moving my head from side to side. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, right. Did I bring my stock over here? I did, it's over there. Perfect. We're good. We good, we good. Okay. Third camera in the fridge, not in the fridge. Sounds like a weird combo. No, I'm not putting like the pork chop in the risotto. It's gonna be a risotto with a pork chop on top. It's gonna be good, trust me, it's gonna be good. What's up, Exiv? Knife it. <laughs> Shake that, exactly. So, I always use unsalted stock if I gotta use store-bought, and I'm not shilling out for this brand, but I always use unsalted. This is a good brand, though, for realsies. Uh, obviously, I'd rather use stuff that I made myself, but, you know, it ain't gonna happen. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is part of like this weird recipe. It's not, okay, the recipe itself is not weird, but it's kind of a weird technique that the recipe employs. So I'll say that. So the first thing it wants me to do is 13 hours of work, oh my gosh. I'm very sorry to hear that, but GG for having some time off to relax and unwind with your boy, Chef Lethal. Mm-hmm. So in the bowl, You made some today, oh no, Cherry. All right, so I got some Arborio rice. And that's about a, a cup. Recipe I'm going with says a cup and a half. So we're going cup and a half. I'm just gonna eyeball the half. There we go, that's a nice half. Halfsies. Eventually I'll have a stream where I make a bunch of chicken stock because I have bones like crazy. Chicken bones in my freezer. Yeah, chicken bones, right. Right. Anyway, so then it wants me to add in uh, a quart of stock and a cup of wine. Um, all right, I have, a, I have a different idea. I have a different idea. So what I'm going to do first, Um, how do I want to do this? <clears throat> Let's take maybe this, this. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'll show you guys. So I've got a, a liquid measuring cup here. Chicken skeleton. <laughs> Bed in 15 minutes working in it, oh man. Exiv, man, I, I know the feels all too well, man. That, that's pretty much my life. 
All right, so I'm gonna go a cup of, uh, of chicken stock here. This is good chicken stock though. Like I know it's, it's store-bought, it's never gonna be as good as homemade, but it's got a nice dark, rich color. It smells really chickeny, so it, it's good. So I'm gonna heat this up in the micro, and, and I'm gonna use Chef Mike here to, um, to heat this up a little bit, to get it warm so that I can steep our, the porcini mushrooms. Also with December coming around, not December, what? December? No, man. With uh, October coming around, I'm gonna have to start thinking about like ideas for uh, um, like uh, Halloween streams or at least like spooky type streams, man. Life as a chef student. Yeah, <laughs> I'm no longer having to do that, but uh, but uh, yeah. So check this out, guys. We gotta use some wine. There's also wine in the recipe. <laughs> nothing wrong with box. Well, there's nothing wrong with good boxed. Like, sometimes it can just have so much sodium in there. So check this out, guys. I got this nice little stainless steel cube. It's got like liquid nitrogen in it or something. No, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna place that in my cup. So it will nicely chill. It will nicely chill my grape juice while it sits, you know, and it won't dilute or anything like that. It's pretty ingenious if I do say so myself. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I want this to get kind of warm. So I'm gonna hit that another minute. Something with deer and dress up like a hunter. Your mom's anniversary, Cherry, that's awesome. Oh, what's up, Ginger, when angry? I'm not doing anything with deer. I'm not doing anything with deer. Hmm. I'm getting notes of um, green apples and uh, mm, pears. Mm, yes. <laughs> ah, refreshing. Pumpkin pie. Okay, okay. Emeralds. Emeralds four. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Hopefully you're having a good Thursday. Uh, this is not scaldingly hot, but the, the stock itself is pretty warm. So I'm going to throw in the porcines. Okay, this is the problem with this playlist is there's all these songs on here that are part of a mix. Like this is a mix. And I, we just heard this song. After this song, I'm gonna change this, the actual like track because it's, it's niggid, niggid. Oh, I missed some. I missed some, so I'm steeping some some porcini mushrooms in the uh, in the stock here. So this is gonna rehydrate. This is gonna rehydrate the shrooms. Whoop. So I need 15 minutes. So it's like 7:30. I'll take these out, and then. Um, let me clean this up really quick. And then what I'm gonna do with that is uh, we're gonna strain out the juice, the, we're gonna strain out the mushrooms and separate them from the, the actual liquid. And then I've got the rice over here in a bowl. Now this recipe that I found said that we're gonna put the stock and the wine in with the rice and agitate it to separate the starch granules. This is a brand new technique, I've never done it. That's my excuse. If it sucks, I've never done it before. That's my excuse. Do, 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 do. What do you think I should eat? Young, you should eat whatever you feel like, man. You should feel like you should eat whatever makes you feel good. Also, whatever you have in the house. Hi, Lucy. Lucy knows I'm streaming, guys. I owe. I, okay, I owe the I owe the animals a lot of pets. A lot of pets. I owe the animals a lot of treats because of the tips that we got the last stream. By my count, there's like 30 treats that have to get doled out between my three animals. And Lucy's staring at me. I'm not gonna give her a whole bunch right now. I'll give her, uh, I'll give her six treats. I'll give you six treats? Okay, but I have to move the camera, Lucy. You can't just sit there and look cute. Healthy <laughs> bowl of bootios. Oh my gosh. 
D Dubs, I don't know. D Dubs, were you here for the announcement uh, 20 minutes ago? If not, I feel like it's important that you should know because you're like an important part of my stream life. Hi, Lucy. All right, we're going to do some Lucy cam. Guys, if you don't know who Lucy is, it's my doge. It's my doge, and we are going to say hi to her. Hello. You need to sit, though. You need to sit. Oh, good girl. Hold on. Let me get my microphone cord here. Okay, now, now you have to sit. You have to sit. You must sit. Okay, now stay. Stay, Lucy Goose. Just stay. Hey, I'm over here. Stay. Stay. Oh, hello. Just stay right there. Zelda. Zelda wants streets too, but you gotta go. This is not, this is not, this is not a good idea for you. Go away. <laughs> stay. Okay, good girl. Sit. 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 Can you even see her? You can kind of see her. Hi, Lucy. Eat. Good girl. That's one. Good girl. Good girl. You, you're gonna shake though, right? Oh, good girl. Okay, good, 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 good. Good girl. Now guys, you, didn't, you may not know this, but Lucy's ambidextrous. Okay, but you have to sit. You have to stay seated. Stay seated. Sit down. There you go, good girl. All right, let's see if she can do the catch. Wait. Catch it. Oh, you are so pretty. All right, good girl. Right, come over here. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. Oh, easy. There you go. Easy. There you go. Good girl. All right. Good girl, Lucy Goosey. Good girl, Lucy Goosey. Okay, out. Out. Good girl. Okay, we have cats at the... Oh, gosh. I just kicked the, the thing. Sorry. There's an earthquake in Florida. All right, so I got cats waiting. <laughs> I got cats waiting. So... The cat in the foreground is Tuskety. She's our princess. And the cat in the background is Zelda. She is awful. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. What's up? All right, here you go, Tuscany. Zelda, don't worry. I got you some treats here. So, like, Tuscany is really picky, and she likes the softer treats, but Zelda is, like, really picky and only really likes the hard treats, so we can't get just one package of treats for them. They have to get separate kinds of treats, because they are difficult. Good girls. Tuscany doesn't usually make appearances, but she decided that she wanted to uh, grace us with her presence. Okay, go, Lucy. Go, 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 go. Right, so which cat can finish her treats first? It looks like Tuscany's making a run for it. It looks like Tuscany's gonna do it. Yep, Zelda's got like three treats left. Tuscany's doing a good job. Oh, is Tuscany looking for the steel? Is she gonna go for the steel? Is she gonna do it? What you doing? Nope. She's looking for more though. She knows that Zelda's got the, the icky, crunchy treats. Zelda's still licking the carpet. Crikey. We have, we have a showdown. A showdown of kittens. Are they contemplating? What's Zelda doing? Zelda, what are you doing? Zelda, what are you doing? Why you do this? Why you do this? Welcome to the stream, everybody. We're just gonna do an hour of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I believe that's about where we were on the camera angle. Yes. Yes, we have three cats. Gamer Dad, what's up, dude? Gamer, Gamer Dad, all right, let me check that real quick. Sometimes if you go international, it, uh, it, it is a, it's a pain. But I will check. I'll check for you right quick. I do see it. I see it, Gamer Dad. I don't know why I didn't give the alert or anything, but Gamer Dad just, just tipped $2 to the stream. I don't know if you had a message or anything with that, but thank you so much, Gamer Dad. Welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you very much. I'll, don't, I'm, don't worry, I'll wash my hands. That's disgusting. Hey, Gamer Dad 84, thank you so much for the uh, 
for the $2 tip. Man, I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully you're doing all right. Hi for Gamer Dad. See, pure chaos has ever got the right idea. Can we get a couple of hearts out there for, for Mr. Gamer Dad for dropping by, dropping that tip on the stream? It really does help out. It really does help out. So I had a goal going for a, a wireless microphone setup and we absolutely crushed it on Tuesday's stream. I did not anticipate hitting the goal. I still have lots of time on the tip goal. So I'm leaving the bar on to see like what sort of uh, like stretch goal type of thing we have. Um, so, so obviously I'm getting the wireless microphone set up soon, uh, but then, oh, thank you guys for those hearts. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, so yeah, after after I get the uh, after I get the wireless mic, whatever's left over from that will just be like stream upgrades. Any any money that I get for the stream stays with the stream. You know what I mean? So if you if people are feeling generous and want to give a couple dollars, whoop, I'll just drop my phone. Yeah, that'll that'll just be a thing that happens. You know, that's why I get the shatterproof glass or the shatter resistant. I don't think anything. What's the breed of my dog? Um, She's like a pit mix, something or other. We adopted her, so we don't really know exactly, but she's definitely mostly, she's mostly, uh, mostly pit. What's up, True? Welcome to the stream, True. And thank you for the follow, Scavi. Scavi1000, Scavi1000, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Thursday stream. Uh, True, I almost asked if you uh, if you <laughs> if you heard the the announcement, but you're in the Discord, so yes, you obviously definitely heard the announcement. You have a job now, awesome dude. GG gamer dad. I know it was it was kind of iffy there for a while. I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. I feel like it's a little close. Like you don't get my full poof. You don't get to see the glory of my poof. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I need to, am I even, am I zoomed in at all? I was a little zoomed in and I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Earthquake, earthquake. Okay. Good, we're good, everything's good. She looks like a brindle pit. She, oh yeah, she's brindle. She's definitely brindle. Do a lobster, a lo you mean like tomorrow Friday? No way, man, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. I got my plan already set for tomorrow, man. Appreciate the input though. So the, the stock here that's been, it's steeping in uh, the, the mushrooms, the porcini mushrooms are steeping in the chicken stock and the chicken stock is nice and dark now. It's pulling out all sorts of like aminos and all the, the good stuff. Uh, gentle, gentle coo? Gentle coo. Thank you so much for the, the follow. Aprish, aprish. Dude, Gamer Dad, that's awesome, man. Sounds like you got a pretty good setup right now. <laughs> that's that's for real awesome, dude. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Um, okay, so I don't need those guys steeping anymore. That's still warm. I don't really want warm stock. All right. So I'm not gonna. I don't want to ruin another dish here. So this is what I'm gonna do. Do. I'm gonna go like this. And then, oh, well, let me get my strainer. I have a fine mesh strainer here. Another follow, who's that carrot? And P.S. Kex. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Thank you very much for the follows, really appreciate it. Helps out the stream if you're out there. Also, it's been a while. If you're out there lurking, I just wanna say hello and thank you for, for dropping by the stream. Uh, I love my lurkers very, very much. I do not call out my lurkers. I don't say anything to you unless you want to specifically be said. I don't ask that you come out and say hello or anything like that. It's kind of my thing. You know, I, I try to make sure that I say it every time, every stream, at least once, that I love my lurkers. Um, I'm never gonna make, I'm never gonna be like, hey lurkers, come out and say hello, unless you really want to. But I will implore you if you are lurking and you are enjoying the stream to please do hit that follow button. It means a lot, it helps the stream. Um, if you already follow the stream, do not hit the follow button because then you unfollow and that makes me sad. That is a joke that my moderators are probably very, very sick of hearing. <laughs> okay, so we have, a, we have about a cup of liquid in there now. All the follows! <laughs> All the follows! So we have a cup of stock in there. So I need to add 
the rest of this, because I needed I needed a quart of stock, right? Uh, a quart of stock and a cup of, of wine. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the rest of the stock. So we have 32 ounces of stock. I'm doing it in this order so it cools down the stock that was warm steeping the, uh, the mushrooms. There we go. So that's uh, 907 grams for those of you that are um, metrically inclined. Weirdos. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There we go. Dragonfire343, Death Orcs, and Halen. Thank you very much for those follows, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Lurker's gonna lurk, 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 lurk. <laughs> It's lit, as the kids say. Oh my god. Oh my god, why do I say these things? And I need a cup of wine. I need a cup of wine. Also in the, the dish, I need a cup of wine. So that's eight ounces of wine. That's about 220 milliliters, I guess. It's like a single serving kind of thing. There we go. Just enough for me for the remainder of the stream. Perfect. On a need-to-know basis, oh my gosh, only ginger. Never change, man, never change. Um, I tell you, can I, can somebody, can somebody help me out? In my, in my like panels and stuff, do I have a, do I have a thing in my rules that says no links in chat? I'm just curious, cause I mean, I've got the setting on my, on my bot, obviously. But I don't know if I have it in the rules to say no links in chat. Do I have that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, NK Ruler, no, no song request at the time. Because I'm, because of my setup, it doesn't really work out. Because I'm running music through my phone through a Bluetooth speaker, so I can hear it. So yeah, it won't work. Nobody reads those. I do not. Okay. Well, look, I read them all the time. Like I read everybody. So if you're a streamer and you have something in your panels, I will read it and call you out on it if it's dumb. Maybe I won't call you out on it, but I, I do read everybody's uh, that I watch. But yeah, I should probably change that. It's a nice, it's, it'd be at least a nice thing I could be like, read the rules, stupid! Now, I can imagine the, the mayhem if, if somebody started like... <laughs> Successful diet is the triumph of mind over platter. Oh my lord. Only ginger. Somebody make that guy a moderator. <laughs> You're a moderator to my heart. All right, so these, these shrooms are, oh, this is jam. This is a nice jam right here. Nice chill. So far, I'm liking the music tonight, guys. It's a good blend right now. Question, so if you're not a fan of wine, is there anything else you can use as a substitute in recipes? Uh, Zerk, Zerk, it depends on, uh, it depends on what kind of recipe. Uh, so for, in this case, I didn't have to use wine. I could have just used more stock, but the wine will add a, a lot of flavor and depth of flavor. Um, but it just depends, it just depends. I mean, sometimes, um, sometimes you could just use stock. If you're using stock and wine, you could just use stock. If you're using just wine, you could use stock or water, vodka. <laughs> I mean, it's really up to you. It's only, it's only like what you, what you feel. It's just whatever works. It, like, again, it just depends. I don't know. Uh, NK Ruler, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Really appreciate it. These mushrooms smell very shroomy, by the way. And the, the water here, the broth, is, uh, whew, that is, that is supremely shroomy, by the way. I haven't, I haven't been this shroomy since, like, the third grade. That was, like, six years ago, bros. What? What? All right, I feel like these are pretty well drained, so I'm gonna sit these off to the side. Sit these off to the side. That is a southern thing to say, isn't it? Isn't it? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do. Okay. Why did I grab this saucepan? I don't know. This is not the saucepan that I want or need. I'm gonna move tonight, so this is one for the <laughs> Newfie guy, man, you're too kind. And Andon, 
Anon and Vixen, thank you both very much for those follows. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the kitchen, welcome to all the things, and also the stuff, but mostly the things. Uh, the colander that I've been using, this is not gonna be good enough for what I need to use, so I'm just gonna rinse this out and pretend like it's clean. And I'll just put that back in the, in the thing. And I believe, I believe, can I use this one? Are the race screens going to... Okay, that's good. That's fine. I'll use this, this strainer. This Megan strainer. <laughs> Bust me for the shrooms. No! No! This is not the saucepan you're looking for. Right, so what I had meant to do is grab a pan that's not in here. Because it's in here. Obviously, guys. I mean, come on. Ooh, these dishes be looking good. I can't wait to dirty it up. Actually, while I'm here, I'll grab this one. These are the two that I'm gonna need. So I've got a straight-sided saute pan. It's called that because it has straight sides and you use it to saute things. And I have a slope-sided saute pan, which is called that because it has sloped sides and you use it to saute things. Amazing! French ingenuity! Right? Something like that. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just kidding. I always know what I'm talking about. Sometimes. So, what I have to do is I'm gonna dump the rice into the mix and then I have to agitate it like it's my sister. And then, actually I don't need another spoon. There's no need for that. No need to dirty another spoon. I can already use the one I have over here. Rollers. Rollers Girly, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. All that stuff. So I'm going to dump the rice in here and then give it a good, like, agitation. And then I have to strain it into another bowl slash container slash thing. So I guess I'm using... this as a matter of fact sorry i'm figuring this out right now guys i should have maybe possibly planned this ahead of time i totes did not do that obviously so i'm gonna change it up a little bit i'm gonna go like this oh man it smells really good all right so i'm gonna put this empty bowl in my sink with the strainer on top of it Dumping and agitating. Keep talking that way. <laughs> Dracoon, what's up, dude? Welcome to this. Welcome to the stream, man. I didn't know washing dishes because I'd be throwing. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm trying to be a little bit better. I say that, and then, like, in the heat of the stream, I just start using everything. I, I just use everything. I don't know. So, I'm going to throw in the arborio rice. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to be concerned about that. That's still basically clean. So I'm gonna give this a nice couple of, nice couple of agi agitative stirs. <laughs> Pure chaos. I, I was hoping nobody would see that. I did see that, the little, the little piece of uh, forgotten mushroom. A reminder of his fallen brethren. It's not rum or whiskey. What is going on? True, if you're referring to my beverage, I had to use wine in the in the recipe, so I had to make sure that it's a good wine. It's actually not bad. It's a cheap yellowtail wine. Just for you, Pure. I'm taking out the, the sad little mushroom piece. I'm gonna put it off to the side. So the rice is now nice and agitated. The reason why, the, okay, so the reasoning that I'm doing this, according to the recipe, is that it's loosening up the starch molecules on the outside of the of the rice grains, and it's going to be in the in the in the liquid. So it's gonna it's gonna change the way that the rice thickens the sauce, supposedly. Yeah. So there we go. Oh man, the jams tonight, man. This is a good one. 
is a good one. So I have to do this off camera because I don't, I don't have a sync cam or anything like that. So I've got, I've got my Ebola and I've got my colander. I'm gonna put the colander in the Ebola and then I'm just gonna dump the rice in there and just let it drain for a little bit, okay? Okay, good talk. Go team, go. So there we go. So I'm doing this so that, like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna, like, to start, I can't even English right now. Oh, geez. Actually, when I'm over here, I don't think you can hear the music so much, so I'm not gonna sing this beautiful song. Sing is like an overstatement as well for crying out loud. All right, there we go. So I've got, I got the rice in the colander. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, a stir. Good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. Look at my board, everybody, it's so nice. E colander in the Ebola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Siler, no, I put the uh, I put the the mushroom piece in with its brethren, so it's in now a mushroom community um, that it's gonna get nice and sautéed. <laughs> I'm going to really just ruin it. Be a risk. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with Ebola with Chef Lethal. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get down on Friday, but also get down on some mushrooms here. So I'm using two types of mushrooms for this uh, for the stream here, for the risotto, because I want it to be very mushroom aggressive, right? So I've got these cremini mushrooms, and uh, so my grocery store calls them Baby Bellas, because it's a cute name, but they're creminis, which is a fancier name, it sounds better. So I like them. I like them because they're, they're a little bit meatier, a little bit mild, but it's still got that umami bomb type of thing, you know what I mean? And the English right into the mic and play. Nice one, Noofy. Nice one. I gotta get my rock band set up somehow. I would love to stream some rock band and listen, you guys could listen to how bad I sing. Although I imagine like if I was playing drums, it would just sound like this. Click, clack, click, clack, click, 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 As I'm pounding out the drums. See, I'm going kind of heavy on the on the mushrooms here. They're so delicious. TT Flop, thank you so much for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Appreciated very much. I just said that. I don't know why I just double said it. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Obvious, for being so obvious, Captain. I'm I'm the uh, I'm the I don't even know, I'm the, I don't know what I was trying to say. I just like, my brain just totally stopped working there for a second. Anyway, so I'm gonna get down on some, uh, some mushroom stripes here. Some mushroom stripes. No, 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 man, these are slices. These are slices, chef, you can do it, man. Woo! I like it. I like it when a mushroom does what I want it to do. Thank you, Sharp Knife. Chewy Bag, thank you for the host. Dude, that host accentuates your natural beauty quite nicely. Nice, thank you, Santuku. Top of the morning, Chef Cookies, what's up, man? Now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous about my behavior on stream, man. We got a real chef in the house. He's Chef Cookies. Did I get it all? Mostly. That'll come apart in the uh, in the cooking process. Oh geez, oh my god. True! True with $7, top tip of the day. Chewy bag man, thank you so much for the tip. With no message, with no message, dude, that's very unbecoming of you, but uh, that's cool, man. I appreciate, I appreciate the help towards the fund to help the, uh, to help the additional updates and stuff and things to the stream. We also got to follow uh, Matin TV? One, two, three, double X, 12, I don't know. Thank you for the follow, dude, much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. 
Sure, you never know when I'm gonna look, dude. I try to look a lot at the stream. You should know that. I don't even know with the camera at this angle if you could even see my eye movement. That is some good mushroom cooking right there. Cutting, I'm not cooking yet. Madden, X Madden, thank you so much for the host. Appreciate it. Woo! All right. There we go. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. So with this, uh, I'm gonna cook the risotto in the straight-sided saute pan. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of extra virgin. Just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> it's freaking you out ever so slightly. I'm sorry, dude. It's the way it's gotta be. It's the way it's gotta be. Just pretend like you've had a few and it'll look normal. I see all your compliments out there though, guys. Tell me that it looks good. I appreciate it. Maiten. All right, Maiten. I will try to remember that. I feel like I feel like I can remember that one, Maiten. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for correcting me, and thanks for being here, man. I really appreciate it. So, you got me feeling, feeling so restless. <clears throat> what am I drinking? I just got my white wine. Just a little bit of wine that's in the uh, in the. It's gonna be in the risotto also. You got me feeling, feeling so restless. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, just a little bit of white wine because it's in the dish and I have to make sure that it's not going to poison us, you know what I mean, stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat on the risotto to like a medium, almost almost medium heat. Almost medium. It's like a medium low. Instead of drinking, I'm taking up telling people I don't drink anymore. <laughs> I hear you only, Ginger. Am I recording? Oh, good, I'm recording. Whew. When is the next drunk cooking stream? The correct, the correct question will be when's the first one? I haven't done that yet. Uh, I feel like that could be really dangerous and I may not do that. Like if I end up getting drunk as a result of streaming for a long time. So like, I'll tell you this Siler, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be like, I'll be real with about it. So like, I imagine that if I do a really long stream, like a celebratory stream where I'm cooking for like eight or 12 hours or something, by the end of it, I will probably be pretty tipsy. <laughs> Because starting in like in the middle, I'll probably start drinking uh, the alcohols. Nice one, D-dubs, that sounds great. That's a good middle school teacher. By the way, you know on the side of the bar with the Twitch, click creative, I was on the channel, featured, awesome. Maiden, very cool. Make cookies or something, no cutting, just screwing with dough. Screwing with dough, hmm. Danger, just <laughs> Hot dogs and microwave buns. I like it. I like it. We'll see. Oh, wait. Bethoen? Bethoen? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, but that's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> Bethoen. Uh, what else do I got to do? So, I got the mushrooms cut. Uh, one thing I guess I would like to do is take the. Uh, the porcinis I have here and just kind of give them a rough cut because some of these pieces are kind of big like we have like this brosif here that you can't even really see because oh here's a great idea chef cook brown mushrooms on a brown cutting board or cut them rather this guy's pretty big so I just want to make sure you know I just give it a nice chop so it's not just so so big <clears throat> in your mouth just a really rough I'm just gonna actually now I'm just gonna like peek over and see and I'm gonna cook this so it's gonna it's gonna shrink quite a bit anyways there we go i feel pretty good burnt dirt i feel pretty good burnt dirt so i'm gonna put this off to the side i feel like i need to give the uh the cutting board a rinse again once i get the mushrooms in the pan because i got herbs i gotta chop up You just drool. Mmm. What about some of this mushroom on mushroom action? Oh my gosh, this is too hot for Twitch. Too hot for Twitch. <laughs> Three hot, five Twitch. I'm separating because these two, these two mushroom uh, 
species are gonna cook a little differently in the pan. Are you hot yet? No? Get hot. Ooh. Make sure I get that nice and warm. <laughs> Easy, man. <laughs> what herbs I got. So I got some thyme that I'm gonna mince up and throw in kind of at the end. And then I've got some basil that I'm gonna do a nice shift and nod and just kind of use that as a garnish right on top at the end. I'm not even an adult yet. Maiden, I hear you, dude. That sounds good. I like it. Do I watch MasterChef? I do not. I do not. Sorry. Uh, no, I've tried to watch it. I just don't know. I don't really watch a lot of uh, competition shows, man. You want some of that herb, Muffin Slayer? Here you go. Get some of that. Mmm. Want some of the open end so you can smell it? That looks a little suggestive. We're not going to do that. We had enough of that on Tuesday. <laughs> Not even the age of consent yet. Well, we don't want to talk about we don't want to talk about ages. We'll just like we don't want to talk about ages, man. Because then it usually gets into a conversation about it, and I don't want that. I don't want to have to start perma banning people. Because I'll do it. It's happened before. Watch Master Chef all the time. No, oh, Noofy guy, man, you're too nice. You're too nice, too kind. You're a kind soul, man. Bacon potato, welcome back, dude. Bacon, were you here for the announcement earlier? I feel like it's about time pretty soon. Um, I feel like pretty soon I can throw down a reminder of the uh, of the announcement. All right, I feel like the the skillet's pretty hot. Oh yeah, it's good. I'm gonna throw in a ton of mushrooms here. A ton of mushrooms. You missed it, okay. Bacon Brotato, hang out, dude. I have, a, I have a big announcement. I won't ban you, Styler. Don't worry, bro. There we go. So I got my mushrooms in the pan. Let's give them a nice little, let's give them a nice little one of these guys. And they should shrink up pretty nice. And I increase the heat, hit them with a just a touch of salt. Go like that. And then we wait. So once those guys are almost done, I'll throw in the porcini mushrooms and, uh, and we'll be good to go. In fact, look at my porcinis right like that. I have a big pile of, of porcinis. Here comes the smolder. Hi, guys. Don't you find me sexy? Uh huh. This is my smolder face. Wasn't that a character on the X Files? Hi guys. <laughs> All right. I'm fine, everybody. Bacon potato. Don't no clap it. <laughs> so, for those of you that missed it, I'm 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 I was I was contemplating tossing out the. Uh, the announcement now-ish anyway, because it's been a while and we've got some new people in and maybe some people miss it the first time, whatever. But uh, I'm probably gonna probably announce this again, at least at the end of the stream, at least one more time. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to be featured, tomorrow I am the creative featured streamer on the Twitch Weekly show, if that makes any sense. Um, so every week, Twitch Weekly, Twitch has a channel on Twitch um, where they feature streamers, they have a part, they have a featured partner streamer, they have a featured creative streamer, and tomorrow I'm that guy, so I'm streaming tomorrow as kind of like a celebratory thing because at the end of the at the end of the Twitch Weekly show, I've been told that they're gonna raid me. <coughs> Sorry guys, that may have been really loud. Uh, but I was told that they may they're they're gonna raid me. So chat is gonna be crazy, but what I really hope is that, you know, we get some good people, like some people that wanna be here in the stream, but um, I put a lot of work in the advertisement video and that's gonna be on. So the Twitch Weekly show starts at like 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which is like now minus four hours. 
Uh, but that's also when I'm about to be going live tomorrow. So instead of having a Sunday stream like I planned, I'm gonna have a tomorrow night stream. So four till whenever I finish, I'm making American Chinese food. I'm making copycat sort of like sesame chicken and, um, and fried rice. And as a matter of fact, I was thinking about maybe making rice tonight in the rice cooker. We may do that at the very end of the stream. Uh, we may do that at the end of the stream uh, and then at least get it started and then I have to cool it because for fried rice, for the recipe that I want to use, it doesn't really work if you, uh, if you have fresh rice. So I have to make it tonight, I think. The host, Dark Crow, thank you for the follow and the host. And Vital TV, thank you for the follow. Big Sugar, thank you for the follow. Welcome everybody to the stream. Welcome everybody. It's very uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about I'm really excited about tomorrow. There's there's a there's a significant opportunity that we can have potentially several hundred people in the in the in the stream after the raid. Uh, so the raid game that we're gonna have tomorrow is hopefully gonna be pretty legit. I went ahead and uh, talked to the person who's kind of managing the whole thing, and I told them I was like, if you're gonna be there, you're gonna be the voice of the people with the raid game because that's what we do. And he was like, all right, man. Fly lice, you plick. <laughs> That's right, the cams are lagging. Uh-oh. Oh well, sometimes it happens. There's nothing really I can do about it. Just work with it. I'm not doing anything too action-packed right now anyway, so. We good, we good. And yeah, Bacon, the mods are gonna have to do some work. I've already warned them. I warned them privately in our private chat. I was like, yeah, guys, uh, there's a chance that we're going to have to, like, be extra vigilant. Please be there for at least the moment of the raid. Never go through the drive-thru. You always get screwed in the drive-thru. I feel like there's an innuendo somewhere in there, but I don't know. I don't know where. All right, so right now I'm just cooking up some mushrooms. I'm trying to get the moist out of the mushrooms. I may increase the heat just a little bit on these guys, because... If you didn't know this, mushrooms have a ton of, of, of liquid in there, a ton of moisture. And uh, when you cook out all the moisture, they shrivel into little bowls of nothingness. Delicious, but nothing really there. So normally, so normally on stream, guys, my schedule, I do Tuesday and Thursday night streams and then Saturday morning gaming streams. Once a month, I do a cooking stream on Saturday, I call it Special Project Saturday, where it's a, we cook a thing that maybe wouldn't work or something I wouldn't normally be able to do on a weeknight, and I do it on a Saturday morning instead, in place of a gaming stream. This this week it was going to be Sunday, or this month it was going to be Sunday, but, but uh, it is going to be tomorrow. The reason why I call it Special Project is not only because, like, uh, the music, it's mostly because of the music. I play like my guilty pleasure songs and, and highly copywritten music. I post all my VODs on YouTube, with the exception of two, but I post all my all my VODs on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Uh, but those I can't because they all get muted. So if you're not here for it live, you miss it completely. Type of thing, yo. Oh, baby. Do I do only cooking? Uh, no, Maiden. No, I do mostly cooking. Like, if I do, I try to stream three times a week. Two of them are cooking streams, and, and the, the Saturday stream is generally a gaming stream. And I, I do a variety of, of games, too. It's just kind of whatever I feel like playing at the time. Um, you know, because it gives me an opportunity to, like, I feel like, I feel like here in the cooking streams, this is, this is like the real of it, guys. I feel like during the cooking streams, we, we make the community. And then uh, the gaming streams are an opportunity to build the community, if that makes any sense. So like, right now I can't really chat with you guys. Like I, I interact with you, I'm, I'm like responding to you and I'm talking to you guys like in the chat and everything like that. But in the gaming streams, we can actually have like a conversation because I play casual games. I'm not like a big competitive Overwatch player or anything like that. I play like Stardew Valley and Diablo where I can actually just watch the chat. Um, some of my best, some of my favorite cooking streams, or excuse me, gaming streams, are ones that I don't even remember what I was doing. Like last Saturday, I had a gaming stream where I was playing Stardew Valley. 
I don't remember anything I did in the game. I was just kind of like autonomous, autonomously playing the game and we were just talking. And at the end of it, I was like, did I do anything? But we had a really good conversation. It was really cool. What happened? When has anything you've ever said made sense? Well, Dracoon, you're, you're right. Thanks for hurting my feelings, bro. All right, so the Kerminis have uh, have lost most of their moisture and they're they're getting kind of shriveled and, and smelling really nice and goodly. In fact, I can just go like this and show you guys that there's not really a lot of volume in the pan, but I threw in a ton of mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the, uh, the porcines like that. Now I'm gonna scrape my board for these porcinis, man. I wanna make sure I get every ounce of expensive mushroom in this dish. I'm up in this dish. I almost cut my finger right there, but I didn't, I'm good. I'd recommend having Chet up on your phone over by the stove. You know what, Maiden, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. TV underscore CE, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. That's not a bad idea, uh, Maiden. All right, so now I'm just cooking down the, uh, the mushrooms. I'm gonna add a tit, a, a tit. I'm gonna add a tit more salt. I don't know how much that is. Maybe like a, an A cup worth of salt. Just to season up, make sure the porcini portion of the uh, of the mushroom blend here is seasoned a little bit with some salt. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real. I I could just eat like right now. Maybe not right now, but in like 30 seconds to a minute, I could just sit here with a fork and eat all of these mushrooms, cause uh, I'm just that kind of guy. I'm just that kind of guy. Did you know that uh, mushrooms are chock full of an amino uh, called monosodium glutamate? Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that that also gets shortened to MSG? <sighs> Actually, it may not be monosodium glutamate, but it's they're glutamates in, uh, in mushrooms. So people complain all the time about MSG when really, it's just extracted glutamates from uh, from foods like mushrooms and stuff. There's really nothing wrong with it. Boom. Do, 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 do. So I'm gonna let that give give it another second or two. Science, science, bitch. We just chatted Velcro to the cabinet. I don't know, man, because then you got Velcro to deal with. Add a little bit more oil into the pan. Cause I'm I'm feeling crazy today, guys. All right, so we got a nice saute action here. I'm gonna let these sit for just another second after I toss them around. Show them who's boss. Boss. Oh. All right. There we go. Good. 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 Super monkey fighter, thank you for the follow. Don't do that in public because you get in trouble. But I appreciate the follow nonetheless. You guys love you love science time with Chevy Poo? Well I love I love science time with Chevy Poo also because I love I love teaching I love teaching the science of cooking when I know it. Doing the research for you so you don't have to. Chef Lethal since 2016. I almost said my real name. Spoiler alert guys, my real first name is Chef. Ooh. It's so weird and meta. Is that meta? Probably not meta. All right. Why don't I do this over here? So at least you can see that I am pouring out mushrooms. I now have nicely sauteed mushrooms coming out of my pan. Sort of, kinda, there we go. There we go, I got a nice plate of, of the sauteed good stuff. I can't concentrate with the wubs. 
I can't concentrate with the wubs going on right now. Holy moly. <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Chef Fethel Clays, yes. Hit him in the forehead, holy crap, bacon potato. That is pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Serves him right. All right, so next step that we're looking at meow is getting some rice in the pan. Beep, beep. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of butter. That was actually kind of a lot of butter, but uh, I'm not gonna get into the details of it. I don't, want to, I don't want to talk about it, guys. I don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh gosh. Let's talk about that. I don't know what that just was either. <laughs> Knocked him out cold. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've heard all these songs before. It's on random though. It's on the random. <laughs> Don't look at my booty. Did I meow? If I did, I totally didn't even, uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's, I've, I've become one with the meow. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> oh, you oh, caught geez. me. Oh my god. You caught me. For science. Thanks for the good tips. Yeah. Alright, so I got some nice butter. Whoa! 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 Zircalt! Zircalt dropping $10 on the stream, guys. I need some hearts in the chat, pretty please. Top tip of the day, Zircalt, $10 for science! Thanks for the good tips. Zircall, thank you so much, my man. I really appreciate it. Your contribution, very, very optional, but very much appreciated. It will definitely go towards the betterment of the stream and, uh, and all that stuff. But thank you so much. You definitely did not have to do that, but I am very appreciative that you have done that. Um, that, is, that is very, very generous of you, considering I believe you just followed the stream today. <laughs> That's incredibly awesome. You followed, you found the stream, followed it today. Tip ten dollars, man. I really appreciate that. All right. So I got my rice in there. I'm gonna turn down the heat just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Turn it down. I turn it down for what? I turn it down so I don't burn it. Dude, thank you. And the hearts. Oh gosh, guys, thank you so much for getting those hearts out there. I really that that means a lot to me too. Cause like, when somebody tips the stream, that's a completely optional. Um, you know, gesture of support to the to the broadcast, and it helps me do things better here. You know, so like, we 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 hit the oh man, it's smelling so good already. We hit the goal for the wireless microphone. I don't know what the next goal is. I, I'm working on it. Um, you know, but but any any monies for the stream, if I don't even have like an active goal at the time, it'll just sit in my PayPal until I uh, figure something out. But any any monetary assistance that you guys give goes towards the stream to make it better because like I said earlier I try to make this like the most I, I, I take this very seriously you know this is my this is like three of my passions colliding into one thing that I didn't know existed like a year ago two years ago I'll say two years ago where I can cook which is clearly my passion and I can teach which I absolutely love and I get to interact with you guys and, and make new friends and stuff which I didn't know until recently was kind of a passion of mine too so the rice is starting to look a little translucent. I can't display this because like, even if I had a better camera up close here, you wouldn't really be able to see. But um, the rice is, is getting a little, a little translucent around the edges. Just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Dude, bacon potato, man, you're getting up there in the, you're getting up there in the cheese. You're getting up there in the cheese department. I'm I'm nervous about I'm nervous about when you guys start hitting getting close to like 3k because I believe there's gonna be a few of you that are gonna hit it relatively close at the same time and wreck that stream. Oh, I love this song. 
All right, so I've made a little well in, in the middle of the, uh, of the rice that I'm cooking here, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a bunch of shallots. A bunch of shallots. Oh, baby, girl, dear below, then why we're All right, so I'm gonna leave that right there, hit it with a little bit of oil, boop, just to, just to get it moving. All right, looking good, looking good. So I'm gonna let this cook for just another few seconds. Meanwhile, I think I'm supposed to reserve some stock. Uh, pour all but one cup of stock into the rice. Okay, crazy person with the recipe. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to give it a nice stir first. We go stir crazy first. Give it a nice stir. Have you ever tossed raw rice in oil, browned it before boiling it? That's kind of what I'm doing now. Oh, no, 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 I've always cooked it, bacon. I've always cooked it when I do that. I believe that's about a cup, hold on. That's about perfect. I just need to have the stock standing by. Ow. All right, so the rice is looking good. The shallots are softening. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a bunch of garlic. Eh, just throw it all in there. It's fine, it's fine. All right, our goal is to cook, lightly cook the garlic. Don't want it to burn, because if you burn it, you, you've ruined everything. And this is too too much of a dish. Too much effort already put into this dish to ruin. Oh man, the garlic just explodes open. Oh baby, deep love, and what we're feeling. Deep love. Chef uses recipes, occasionally Pims, occasionally. For tonight's stream, I'm using like an amalgamation of two recipes uh, and kind of combining the technique. But yeah, dude, I look at recipes all the time. I steal ideas, I steal techniques, you know. I, I will say that since I've started cooking and streaming, like it's really exercising the creative portion of my brain and I like it. All right, the garlic's opened up. It's smelling amaze balls up in here. So, I'm gonna add back the mushrooms. Like that, so now we have mushrooms, and rice, and shallots, and garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a nice, healthy bit of salt, because we have a lot of rice in there. And there's really no rice, there's no rice, there's no salt anywhere else. There's a little bit in the mushrooms, but that kind of it. Give this a nice toss. Now, according to the procedure slash recipe slash whatever in the hail you want to call it, I am to add all of this liquid at once. All right, this kind of goes against the, 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 the normal, like common nomenclature for, uh, for risotto. In flamers we. Thank you so much. Yes? Oh, heh, thank you, babe. Didn't even know you were there. Mrs. Lethal's lurking in real life. <laughs> we're gonna hit 2K. What's up, Queen Lily Petals? All we need is a raid. All you need is raid. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so check it out, guys. Can you feel it? Get on up. Can you feel it? Oh, oh, can you feel it? Get, get on up. So I got lots of mushrooms, lots of rice, lots of goodness up in here. Can you feel it? I've got some reserved stockaroony right here. Oh, can you feel it? Get on up. Queen Lily Petals, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Or not the follow, you, well, thank you for the follow. But thank you for the host tonight. <laughs> Okay, so according to the procedure, I add all this, I bring it to a simmer, stir it once, and then cover it. Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. Woo! All right, so we give it a nice stir. 
No, bring the simmer, then stir. Wub, wub, wub. Wub, 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 so I'm gonna increase the heat there, just to let it come to a simmer. I'll give it a nice stir here in a second. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo, who's that? MB374YT, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen, happy Thursday. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Can you feel it, guys? Get on up. Can you feel it? Oh, can you feel it? Pims, I altered the cooldown on the quotes, man, so just be aware of that. <laughs> to prevent quote spam, a lot of the commands I, I started adding some time, some timers cooldowns that I didn't have previously. So while while I'm waiting for the, the stuff over there to do the things, <laughs> that makes sense. That's English. That's English. I'm gonna rinse off my board right real quick and my knife. My knife. I may need to give the, the board a little bit of a scrub. I got some porcini guts on there. Greg Porcini. That's my food name. Could do some user cooldowns. <laughs> Mrs. Lethal came in like a wrecking ball. Get, get, get on. Get a rare parrot in the chat, please. Can I get one rare parrot? Just one. I just want one rare parrot. Somebody. Woo. Woo. Can you feel it? I got two. Streams out, guys. I said one. I said one stream's over. I can't, I can't, I can't. Now you're just being disobedient. <laughs> now you're just doing it to spite me. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. <clears throat> Fixing my rug here. All right, so we're almost there. Almost there. <laughs> I definitely cannot go. <laughs> You're right, I could never go to a dance club. I would get kicked out. They'd be like, sir, sir, please, please, plocks, get out. And mushrooms gross. I'm just kidding, I love mushrooms. I don't know why I did that though. I need to rinse that down. Mmm. Much better. Man, they go from such hype to like this really nice chill song is crazy. Alright, I got a little bit of a simmer here, so I got some bubbles like bursting at the top, so I'm gonna give this a nice stir. Living no regrets. Give it a nice stir. I was only supposed to stir once, but I stirred it like 16 times. Grab the lid. This is the correct lid. No, tis not. That's okay. No! Oh! Covered. Nailed it. Got it. Okay, cover. And reduce to the lowest setting. Done. And then in 10 minutes, I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna cover it. Okay, 10 minutes, guys. That's, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set a timer. But guess what? You said 10 minutes, I'm gonna go 10 minutes. If it sucks, it ain't my fault, because I'm just following what you told me to do. 
Hej. Only Drake may dance like that in public. Exactly. Exactly. Excuse me, sir. Did you see Hotline Bling? Because you are not that person. You are unallowed, unallowed to do that. That's the word I'm gonna use, unallowed. That's a real word actually though, right? Unallowed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a wise guy. All right, so I'm just off camera right now, guys, just rinsing off my knives. This is why, this precisely is why I wear gloves. Because when I'm off to the sink, like washing my, my stuff or my hands or whatever, you guys get nothing. You get nothing. And to some of you, you might see that as an improvement to the stream. But some of you also still might think that that's kind of stupid. So here I am. What's going on with the... Party Hawk, thank you so much for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Uh, Zircalt, my uh, kitchen is haunted. So I've got under the cabinet lights that occasionally the ghost of my kitchen likes to troll me with in real life. Uh, so yeah, sometimes they come on, sometimes they don't. I, I, I don't know, I, I gotta get like an exorcism up in here or something, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I gotta find somebody that could potentially bust these ghosts. I don't know if there's anyone nearby uh, that might be able to do that thing, but I'll tell you, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Oh, here's a question for you guys. Um, I noticed this like probably at least, at least a decade ago, probably maybe just a little bit longer, like maybe 12 years, 12 or 13 years ago. Do you guys, particularly in the United States, particularly those of you in the United States, do you guys have car commercials or had, have had car commercials, particularly on the radio, where the jingle is a variation of the Ghostbusters theme? Question mark. Because we have had, I've, I've been in areas, lately especially, where um, the, uh, like, there's, there's a car, there's a large, like, a franchise of car dealers in my general area called Courtesy. They're Courtesy Car Dealers. And uh, their stupid jingle was, who are you going to call? Call Courtesy! And I was like, that doesn't work. That's too many syllables. You can't do that. Wow. Get wrecked, bud. <laughs> Get wrecked, bud. Thank you, Pims. Taking care of business. I'm gonna mince up a lot of time. I'm gonna mince up a lot of a lot of time. Warming up for the raid. Yeah, <laughs> probably bacon potato. You're probably right. Dude, I'm so excited about tomorrow. I know I'm like, I'm like. I'm pretty chill, like considering, con mostly considering, considering mostly how I normally am on stream, that's a bunch of words that don't make a lot of sense together. Tonight's pretty chill. Like I'm doing my little dancing, it's dancing. You know, the songs are getting me pretty hyped up, but I'm pretty chill today. I guess, I don't know, I slept really well, but maybe I'm just a little bit tired and I didn't realize it. But, um, but tomorrow's gonna be, tomorrow's gonna be pretty, pretty sick. Tomorrow's gonna be pretty sick. I'm really excited about it. I don't really, I don't think I've ever streamed cooking streams back to back either, so it should be pretty interesting. At the same time. I definitely do have enough time for the time. Run away, Mrs. Lethal. You get it? You okay? Um, so I'm, I'm just picking some basil here for our basil chiffonade garnish. Uh, chiffonade is a French word for like uh, ribbon or something like that. I don't know if it's really French for that, but that's what we were told in school, so that's what I'm going with. It does make a nice garnish, so I'm doing that off the bat. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm being a little bit deliberate on how I'm using the, and uh, what order I'm doing the herbs. Um, so I'm gonna make the chiffonade and put it in the little bowl here. And then I've got, well, I don't know why I brought over the time bag, the time bag. Uh, hold on one sec. Never mind, guys. We're good. Most of these in part trust me, I can't do You guys, you just keep, you guys keep chatting away about things and stuff that I don't even know anymore.
Cheers. I don't know why I do the things I do. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know. I just do these things, man, because this is what I do. I'm just a weird dude sometimes. Oh, well, that's creepy. <laughs> Sorry, SCP. I just do weird things sometimes, man. If it creeps you out, I'm sorry. But yeah, I was saying, like, this is... I'm, I'm pretty chill tonight. I was joking... I was joking the other night. I was, uh, I was joking the other night about being, uh... About being tame and calm because people are very successful doing those things. But, um... Tonight's kind of that way. Tonight is kind of that way, man. I feel like this is a good, this is a pretty good flow though. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm asking your opinion on my energy level. That's kind of weird. Forget I said anything. I'm fine. So what I've done that you can't see. That's how we should greet the host. <laughs> you know what though? That would be like instant partner. I should do that because I guarantee you people would love it. For whatever reason, I don't get it. People love close up cam. People absolutely love, uh, I, people absolutely love, uh, carrot cam. And it's crazy, a uh, carrot cam? <laughs> I read carrot in the chat. Uh, close-up cam like that, awkward, awkward close-up. So, what I've done here is I've stacked up my basil leaves in a rough, in a rough hierarchy of like smallest to largest leaf, but not exactly. And then I'm gonna do a roll job here. Just heavy breathing and saying hi. I don't know, man. That might be a little bit too weird. Maybe after the raid game. Maybe after the raid game, I can like act ex uh, exacerbated by the fact that we got raided like that. And I could be like, I could just be like, you guys, kill me with kindness. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. Let's make. Chinese food. I can do that. My basil messed up. Sail cat, what's up, dude? Do I? Verbal jump cuts? What are you talking about, Pims? The lights! I would have followed faster. <laughs> gotcha. Who gets to choose? Are you talking about during the raid tomorrow, True? Um, I have I have a contact. The Twitch person will be will be the the raider person. He'll be the official point person. Perfect. Give him the impression that anytime you may drop over and lure them in. If you don't if you don't follow and watch the stream, I might die. 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 All right, so I rolled up the fatty of basil and then using what is now probably my sharpest knife, I'm gonna slice through the, the roll of basil here, making sure I go like forward and down at the same pressure level. Cause I don't wanna actually like bruise the, bruise the, the basil. The basil has sensitive feelings and if you don't treat it right, it, uh, it's, it'll start to like turn brown and stuff. It looks really gross. But if you have a nice sharp knife, and you use a nice gliding motion like I just did. You get these nice ribbons. You get these nice ribbons of, of basil like that. And it'll look, it'll look really nice on the plate. And that's really the, the point of doing that. It just looks good on the plate. Time goes, Jiggy. <laughs> Aneurysms are terrifying. That is very good and terrifying thought, Party Hawk. Thank you for bringing us all down. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Okay, so 10 minutes is about up. Stir once, shake pan. Simmer, cover. Reduce to low setting. Cook for 10 minutes, stir once, shake pan. Cover and cook. Okie dokie. Okay, recipe, you're, you're, you're really weird, but I take that off. This is definitely on the lowest setting. We do a shake. And we do a stir. 
There's a lot of mushrooms in here. Holy crap. I mean, it's a mushroom, it's a mushroom thing. Right before it's like done done, I'm gonna throw in the prosciutto. I, I almost forgot about the prosciutto. Of course, now I can say prosciutto, where at the beginning of the stream, I could not pronounce that word for the death of me. For the death of me? For the life of me. For the death of me, oh my god. Shake pan, cover and cook until liquid is mostly absorbed. Should be about another 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. So, add a minute. Oh, gosh, that's cooking. Don't cook, don't cook. We need 10 minutes on the clock. 10 minutes on the clock, double dare. Let's go. Thank, Ob thank Obama. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the, thank you for the follow. Only Ginger. Thank you so much for stopping by, dude. Appreciate you very much for hanging out. Hopefully you can make it out tomorrow for the big stream. Uh, it should be a little bit earlier for you, but you may be at work. I don't know, but hopefully you can make it out. I'd love, I'd love for you to be able to hang out a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna strip my time. It's time to strip. It's strip to time. This is another mix. Ah, oh, these are good songs, but it's a whole mix. This, this, this song is gonna be an hour long, so I gotta skip it. Dude, I saw uh, at PAX, there were a bunch of people dressed as, uh, excuse me, cosplayed as, uh, as Reaper. And uh, I was pretty excited about that. Reaper is the only character that I feel like I have a pretty convincing uh, impression of. But also, I read somebody, I forget, it was like, so many great Overwatch Reaper cosplays that only, that are, they're, they're walking around only saying like the only thing they're saying out loud is die, die. I guess I guess Reaper doesn't have any other uh, like I almost said lyrics. No, we we get it. Let's let's um here we go. That's a little better. I guess Reaper doesn't have a lot of uh, lines that he says other than die die die. Really connects with Reaper. <laughs> I really connect with him like on a spiritual level. <laughs> I like that he just has like an infinite supply of magical shotguns at his supply. You know, it's like, oh, I've shot this four times. New one, sweet. <laughs> Reaper's vocabulary is not limited at all, have you seen? No, I have not. But I don't. I also don't play Overwatch, so I don't know like if he says anything in the beginning of matches or if the story videos have him saying things. Um, I don't. I, I'm not privy. I'm not. I'm not privet drive to that sort of stuff. I owe Lucy more treats. Well, thanks, Mrs. Lethal, for reminding me. I already gave. I gave her six at the beginning of the stream, and I gave Tuscany and Zelda some treats. So I'll say that's six. I feel like we heard this song already. I heard this song already. <laughs> Treats are Rito. Harry Potter reference. What? <laughs> oh, I did. You're right. We do have to do more treats. Oh, Mrs. Lethal keeping me honest with the the baby music here. Oh my gosh. What's happening in my pants? Um Okay, so yeah, we have we have to add one more treat to the list. So I gave Lucy 6 and then Zelda and Tuscany came over and I gave them a few a piece. So we had a nice extended Zelda cam there. Um, so, so we had to do like 32, I think was the total from last stream. 
Good lord, that was the total from last stream was ridiculous, guys. Tuesday was absolutely bonkers, crazy, nutso. Um, so yeah, okay, so that was like 32. I already gave her six. That's 32 minus six. I'll count the cats as like four. So that's 10. So I owe like 20, 22 more treats. And, uh, nice knife. Thank you, Prevention. Appreciate it. Travel Pond, I see all of your comments about, about the weeds. And, uh, as much as you probably want me to say, like, I'm on the weeds, or I smoke the weeds, or smoke weed every day, I don't do that. And, uh, just, just chill, man. Just chill on it. It's cool if you're all about that. I'm not. This is my normal energy, bro. Just enjoy the stream, all right? Just do me a favor, enjoy the stream, because this is what it's all about, man. Miss, <laughs> Miss Toker, thank you for the follow. Speaking of the weeds, <laughs> thank you, Miss Toker. Got warm in here, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Mrs. Lee, unless it's 420. It's always 420 somewhere. Not exactly. Good try though. Good try. I'm gonna throw the herbs. I'm gonna put the, the basil in the fridge. In the fridge. No, I'm not gonna put it in the fridge. Funk that. I'm gonna leave it out. And I'm gonna leave the timeout too. I'm gonna grab the porky chops though. So I'll go ahead and grab these guys and, and get them out. Guys, another myth is you don't have to have your, your meat out at room temperature if you're gonna cook it. All right, that's a myth that the television chefs want to teach you. It's completely unnecessary to have your meat out at room temperature. Um, because honestly, honestly, to leave your meat out to get to actual room temperature, it'll have to have sat out for like hours. Literally. Uh, Dominev Domin Dominikov? Dominikov. Thank you very much for the follow, man. I much appreciate. True. True. Thank you so much for stopping by, dude. Thanks for dropping the uh, the tip on the face. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but I appreciate it, dude. Welcome. Uh, welcome. No, you've been welcome. But thank you for coming to the stream, dude. Really appreciate it. And there's Tyson. There, oh, it's perfect. His paw. <laughs> that was his back foot, everybody. Tyson treats. Does, which one does he like? The soft one? Any of them, of course. Oh, Tyson's excited. All right, guys, we're going to do Tyson cam. This is going to count for a couple of the treats on the counter. Tyson, bro. Come here, dude, bro. Oh, look at you, cutie pie. Oh, what's up, dude? Come here. We got a follower. I'll catch you in a second. Enjoy the cat cam. Oh, look at this little guy. He's so cute. I'll oh, come over, Mrs. Lee. Wait, don't go anywhere. Oh, wait. There we go. Wait. Here we go. And we're zooming in. We're zooming in for all the views. This is Tyson. He's my kitten. Oh, my God. He's so cute. He's so cute. All right, we, we've, we've established that we have, we have here a natural Tyson in his natural environment. Crikey. He likes his treats. He's distracted. Tyson. Tyson eats your treats, bro. Tyson. So yeah, we, uh, we fostered Tyson for a couple of weeks and then uh, we don't often foster kitties one at a time, and he was probably the last time that we'll do that because clearly um, he's no longer a foster. We have adopted him, he is our baby. 
mostly mine, maybe. But he is he is awesome. Tyson Wade, stay. Look at his. Okay, he's he's out of camera now. Okay, well that was fun. Thank you, Tyson, for for entertaining us. Thank you, Mrs. Lethal, for bringing Tyson over. Lucy treats. Oh my gosh, guys, we're getting extended Lucy time. We got to give Lucy some more treats. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go like this still. Hello. We got followers coming in. Something oh, the paradox snake bear bear launcher. That's a great name, by the way. I love it. Thank you so much for the follow. Hello, welcome. We're gonna do some more Lucy cams. So Lucy Boo, come here. Come here, Lucy Goo. Come here and turn around and sit. Good girl. That's a good girl. Stay. You have to stay though. Oh crap. Stay. Stay. I'm gonna take the risotto off of the off the heat because I'm not ready for it yet. I told you to stay, Lucy. Sit. Sit down. What's with all the What's with all the baby music? I don't know what this is all about. Stay. All right, guys. So again, this is Lucy. This is my Doge. This is my pit bull. Boo, how you doing? You are. Oh, the drool is real. Let me tell you, the drool is absolutely real. Hi. Are you trying to steal from my hand? Easy. Oh, oh crap! I dropped it. I got you. I got you, Lucy. Sit. Sit. Easy. Good girl. Great girl. I want you to shake with your right hand. Good girl. Good girl. Shake. I mean, easy. I said shake. All right. Now to prove to everyone on the internet that you are in fact ambidextrous, you're the you're the ambidextrous pit bull, right? Shake with your left hand. Oh, that's a good girl. Easy. Oh, I dropped it. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Now, can you catch this? Will you catch this? You need to catch this. The internet is watching you. Lucy, you can do it. I trust in you. You can do it. Are you ready? Her eyes, she's got her eyes on the prize. She's ready. And, oh, good girl. That's a good girl with drool everywhere. The drool bubbles and everything. All right, Lucy Goosey. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. All right. That's a good girl. You better thank the internet. You better thank the internet for that because their generosity allowed you to get them treats. Oh, good girl. Sure, farts are going to be crazy. All right. Go. Go, go, go. Good girl. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're good. We're good. Back to the foods. Arguably the least popular part of the stream, the foods. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm only mostly kidding. You know what I mean? What a catch. She was hoping, for sure. All right, I caught up on everybody. We good, we good. All right, I gotta wash my hands again. Wash my hands again. I got Doge juice all over it. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. That's a good girl. She's looking at me like, you are gonna be hating this in the morning. Because the, the, whatever it is in the treats, man, it makes her farts the most lethal. <laughs> the lethal in my name is really in re re reference to her farts. Caustic, nice catch, bro. Nice catch. I didn't think you were going to get it. I didn't think you were going to get it. I think you were sleeping, but you got it. Okay, so the second 10 minutes has elapsed for our risotto. Oh, okay. Most of the moist has been, uh, has, oh my gosh, this is actually looking pretty, pretty freaking sweet right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this over. Crazy Pac-Man, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Really appreciate it. Are they Rachel Ray treats? No, they're not. They're, I don't even know. They're just like bacon bits or bacon treats or whatever, I don't know. So, uh, the rice has absorbed a lot of the moisture. And it's it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty pretty excited about this. I'm gonna grab a clean spoon for this, and I, I'm really gonna be testing here the texture of the rice. Wow, it's already pretty much cooked. Okay. The flavor's pretty good. The flavor's pretty good. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more salt. And then it says to add the rest of the uh, the liquid. So that's a, that's a cup of liquid that we just added in, that we, I, I don't know, whatever. That was just added in. I'm gonna give that a nice stir. Hmm. 
<laughs> weenie weenie that's cool man thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it we'll be getting to the pork chop portion of the program very soon all right all right so this is nice and mixed i'm gonna go ahead and toss in some of the time we definitely have time for that i'm gonna go like that i'm gonna leave a little bit left over and i'll season the pork chops with it as well but this way we get a little bit of the the freshness of the herb flavor in the risotto all right so that's good Ooh. and then the, the last thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> crazy monkey fighter i agree or super monkey fighter yeah i agree when you think about it it's like whoa aliens right so i've got my prosciutto i got my prosciutto I am gonna, I'm gonna put it in now, and I'm gonna go with two slices, maybe. You, 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 you. We can make it through anything, 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 anything. Uh, okay. I may try to crisp up another piece for a garnishment. But, what is happening here? Um, okay, so maybe instead of trying to get nice strips in there, I may just tear it in and have little chunks of prosciutto. Right. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So instead of like getting my knife in here and having like nice pieces that look good, I'm gonna make chunks here, just like, just rip it apart and show it like who's boss and be like, yo, bitch, you owe me money. Oh. <laughs> but not really, because I bought you with money, so technically we're even Steven, right? Right? I don't even know what's happening anymore. There we go. You, 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 you. <laughs> so this will add some fat, some goodness. I called Dara. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. If you guys missed the announcement, I'm going to be featured on Twitch Creative tomorrow night. Hopefully you can make it out to the stream about 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the hype. We're going to get raided by that channel and it's just going to be absolutely crazy in here. I'm making, uh, I'm making American Chinese food classic sesame chicken with fried rice. Should be pretty cool, man. Should be pretty cool. Why am I watching this? I'm so hungry. I hear you, man. I get that a lot. So I got a nice pile of of, uh, of pork product here. I'm gonna kind of throw that in, clean my hands really scientifically, and and kind of just do a little bit of a toss. Without you, 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 you. So the rice is is kind of already sucked up all the juice that I poured in. Huh. All right. Well, this is still risotto though. Right? Yeah. This is a ton of this is a ton of food too. Holy moly. This is a ton of food. Look at how much it is. I mean, you can't really tell from there. There's a ton of food in there. Hey Nippers, thank you for the host. Oh crap. What's happening? OBS, please. Miss Forco, Miss Forco, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy streaming, or something like that. All right, so I got this. What am I missing? Cheese. Oh my gosh, you can't miss the freaking the the best part. So. Many, many, many streams ago, I had to use uh, Parmigiano Reggiano for stuff, okay? And I still have it. And because I wrapped it uh, appropriately, it's still good. Like, it hasn't started to mold up or anything like that. It's nice. It's nice and funky. It's a funky Col Medina. Uh, it would help if I knew. Can't make it until. Uh, 5.30 or 
That's cool bacon potato. That's fine, dude. I'll probably still be live, <laughs> but uh, just for like the raid portion and everything like that, uh, when most of the hype is gonna be, uh, will be right around uh, whatever time I said, <laughs> around 5 p.m. Around 5 p.m. Eastern. Oh, it's right here. Hello, smarty pants. It's me, Mario. <laughs> You. All right, so I'm just gonna grate in a, a fair amount, a feral, feral amount, feral amount of the Parmigiano Reggiano. This is the good stuff, guys, like from Italy, from the motherland. So I'm going to I'm going to leave this off to the side because that's going to definitely that's definitely going to make an appearance uh, on the plate. She's starting to get moldy. You can scratch off the mold. That's very true. That's very true, Fallian. Um, no, this song isn't doing it for me. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely do that. You, you, you have to cut out a little bit more than just uh, shaving it. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So we got a little bit of cheese up in here. Now, the, the real Parmigiano is so much different from, like, the, the Parmesan cheese that you, you might get. It's, like, it's a lot richer, so a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. And I really feel like this doesn't need a whole lot of cooking. Just enough to kind of warm up the prosciutto, because it's, it's, I dare say, it needs more moist. Oh, think about it in your teacup. What are you saying, bro? Needs more salt. Definitely needs more salt. That should do. Give it a nice stir. Yep, that's good, that's good. So, I don't know, I feel like the consistency isn't isn't like saucy enough. It's not saucy. But uh, it's, it's like, I don't know. That was a bad illustration of, of what it is actually like. But I'm gonna just leave this here for a minute. Let the salt kind of do its thing and absorb. Ow. I got some. Some rice fell on the, on the stove, guys. It's delicious. It tastes good. Don't use more salt, use more cheese. No, it needs more salt. <laughs> I could use more cheese. It'll still need more salt. Even though, yes, the cheese is a little salty. I will add maybe a little bit more cheese. Because, hey, it's just cheese, right? And then I'll definitely add more as garnish on the plate to make it look all fancy-like. At least do my best at that. Fine. If you ever need a band. <laughs> All right, sounds good, bacon potato. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, man. Pretty good. I don't know, man. I'm pretty excited about this. It's not like super runny, but I feel like it's. I feel like it's pretty good. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. I've got the heat off. And I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe, do I have stock in here? Do I already have, I have opened stock. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. And I should have used this first because it was already in the fridge and already opened. I'm gonna add a little bit more stock. Now, one of, part of the recipe that I took this procedure from said to whip whipping cream to stiff peaks and fold it in to help get like fluffiness and creaminess or whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm not using cream. I don't believe in using cream uh, for risotto. I think that's cheating. I like the rice to do the work for us and it definitely has. So now I'm gonna leave it. it that added a little bit of, of juiciness, I'll say. The cheese stands alone. 
so it would be salty. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you saying I don't know what I'm doing? Kind of feels like you're saying I don't know what I'm doing. Oh crap. I may not know what I'm doing. Cream for risotto heresy. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I don't do it. That's why I'm not doing it. I get the reasoning behind it, but I'm not going to do it. I feel like that's cheating. Let the rice do its work. It's the reason why I use a special type of rice for it. Okay. So that's good. Now I've got my pan here for the pork chop. I'm gonna get a reasonable amount of uh, extra virgin olive oil in there. And I got my pork chops. I'm pretty happy with these pork chops. They look pretty smexy. They look pretty smexy. Yet gonna lie. I'm gonna grab maybe some aluminum foil. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe a little bit. Ha! Okay. Just a wee bit here, just to kind of go like this. This way I don't get raw pork juice on my cutting board. Cause that's gross. Cream sounds too sweet. Uh, not like sweetened cream, it's just like the heavy cream, just heavy cream, whipped with, with nothing in it, just whipped plain. It's pretty savory. I can see it happening. I can see it being a thing. I just don't agree with it. Even though I trust the, like the, the writer that made the recipe, I trust all that stuff, but it's not really something I am interested in doing. So I've got these pork chops here. These are beautiful, by the way. Real nice, real nice and thick. I like them thick, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Crispy Fried Punk. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. And uh, hopefully you're having a great, great day. That is my hope for you all. Hopefully you are all having a great day or have had a good day. We'll have a great day. Just hopefully everything is awesome, basically. Right, so I'm gonna turn this, the, 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 the slope-sided saute pan, I'm turning this on to like a more medium-ish type heat because my stove tends to like to do things hot. My stove likes it hot. We got another follow. Bumpier bag. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. Welcome to the stream, happy kitchen. Wait, what? Yeah, that's better. His cooking always is messy. With me, it usually is bumpier. Because I don't have time to clean. Usually when I'm cleaning, just for, when I'm cleaning, when I'm cooking for just like me and Mrs. Lethal, I clean as I go. But when I'm streaming, I can't really do that. Because like, then I'm spending a lot of time cleaning. You don't want to watch a guy clean. I clean after the stream. Clean when I'm dead. Anyway, so I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit this guy, these guys here with plenty of salt. A nice healthy addition of the old PJ salt. Cause pork loves salt, but I'm also gonna make sure I get the fat cap there on the edge. Make sure that gets nice and seasoned. Funny thing about salt guys, and this is a huge misconception, is salt doesn't necessarily make things taste salty. Uh, salt helps things taste more like they're supposed to taste, right? So when used appropriately, so like I'm using kosher salt, not iodized table salt. I don't even own that. I don't even own iodized table salt in my house ever. Even though I have salt and pepper shakers like this TARDIS. Um, <clears throat> even though I have that, I never use iodized salt because that is the, the flavor of salt that people most associate with like salty foods. But what really happens is the salt helps fire electrical things on your tongue. And it ha helps taste, it helps foods taste more like they're supposed to taste. You know, so it's like, if you, my, my, my favorite example to use is like eggs. If you fried up an egg with no salt in it and then ate it, 
And, and if you just did that, you would probably think, I'm never eating eggs again because this is disgusting. Why have I ever done this? However, if you did the exact same thing and you cooked another egg right afterwards, but you added an appropriate amount of salt, you are not going to eat the egg and go, oh, this, is, this tastes like salty egg. No, you're gonna be like, oh, this tastes good. Now, granted, if you do add too much salt, you, uh, you will get the sensation that you are tasting the actual mineral itself, the salt, but at appropriate levels, it's not, it's not like that, and people, people miss that. Salt does get such a bad rap. Newfie, thanks for stopping by, dude. Appreciate it. Salt can also intensify the heat from spices. Salt can do a lot of things. <laughs> Preach it. Thank you, nerdiest things. Also, there was a host. Who was the host? I think I missed it. Hold on, I'm checking my dash. Oh my gosh, we've had a lot of hosts today. Holy crap. Nerdiest things. Nerdiest things, thank you for the host, dude. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. Oh. Yeah, like salt is one of those things that kind of triggers me when people are like, oh, it just makes it taste like my dad. Oh my God, guys, my dad triggers me. So I'll sit here and I'll like, I'll season these pork chops perfectly, right? And I'm like making sure I don't add too much salt or too much pepper and I'm, I'm adding fresh thyme to it right now. And I'll sit here and do that, right? And I'll make sure that it tastes good. And without thinking, my dad will just like, I'll serve him this nice plate of food that I've prepared, right? And he'll immediately be asking for the salt. And I've already told you guys, I don't keep table salt in the kitchen or in the house. There have been times where he's grabbed kosher salt to add onto his thing. And he's actually eaten ribeye that I cooked one time. I cooked this beautiful rib roast, guys. Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. Had like this amazing fat cap on it. The meat was just super tender. Um, and I was, I was really happy with the way it turned out and I, I served it to him. I, I actually made a plate and served it to him. The first thing he does is hit it with a bunch of salt and then, and then as if that wasn't bad enough, the dude complains that the meat was salty. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. My mom just got married. My stepdad cooked with no salt. Oh my gosh, weenie. Ugh. <laughs> Tables, <laughs> oddly enough, table salt. Um, you're right, there are people that have sensitivities to salt that can't have high levels of sodium or whatever because of either heart conditions or whatever, and that's a totally different story if you have a sensitivity to it. But if you're a normal functioning human, there's no problem with salt in appropriate amounts. I completely agree with you. I, I completely agree with you, nerdiest things. It was such a trigger to me. That's why I don't even I don't even have table salt in the house. Cause I trust myself enough to know that, you know, I I I've learned through the years to kinda I've learned what enough seasoning looks like. It's one of those things you kinda have to practice. Um, that reminds me, speaking of practice, I'm gonna look up Super Noodle. 1223 Why are you watching a cooking stream cuz you like to be entertained? Maybe I feel like I'm pretty entertaining. I feel like I put on a pretty good show. So just hang out man Hang out have a good time I'm a trained chef. I got you nerdiest things. I got you man. I got you. I like salty food, but at least try the food first before. Exactly. Exactly, man. That's how I feel, man. At least try it. At least try it. And then, like, my dad had the audacity to say that the food was too salty. I was like, the steak is. And then he admitted later, he's like, yeah, it's probably because I put salt on it, huh? And I was like, yeah, that's exactly why. I was so mad. 
because that was an expensive piece of meat. It was like a three bone, it was like a three bone standing rib roast. And he just was like, plate salt. I was like, Ugh. you gave, you were part of the reason why I'm alive. Can I eat the food and be the judge? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why is this water wet? I don't know. It is a problem with, with the food streams, you know, it's like, I'm doing all this stuff and it's like, you guys watch me make all this food. You can't have it, you can't have it. I don't know why I danced to that. <laughs> Just watch this derp. You know, bacon potato, I don't know how I feel about you saying that, man. <laughs> Just watch this derp. Good lord. So apparently I can crisp prosciutto in the oven. I don't feel like heating up an oven for a single piece of prosciutto. 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 You serve it with au jus, you shouldn't even need salt with a rib roast. Can you chop some fun? Oh, it's gonna be alright, guys. It's gonna be alright. Here we go. Place thinly sliced prosciutto between two pieces of dry paper towel. Use Chef Mike for one minute. Perfect. I'm gonna flip the pork chops. Here's another thing, guys. If you want to, flip your meat as much as you want. It'll actually help it cook faster. I might turn down the heat a little bit too. These are pretty thick chops. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Things are happening. We got dance music on. I might have to start dancing here in a second. I might have to Ted dance in here in a second. Oh, that sizzle. That sizzle sounds so good though. Stir the risotto. Stir the risotto. Flip the risotto. Flip the risotto. Yeah, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. We're fine, everything's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more stock to the risotto. The risotto is thirsty. The risotto is like some of my friends, thirsty. I'm gonna add a little bit more stock. It doesn't have quite the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the rice, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let the rice have it this time. There we go. So I'm gonna stir in the stir in the stock. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Them baby making moves. Ah, there says no curfew. Pork needs to cook slow, so flipping often helps. Whew. The stirring the risotto move got me out of breath, guys. I'm a little out of shape. I'm a little out of shape. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say I'm a little ashamed. I'm not ashamed though. No shame, hashtag. That's what the kids do. Hashtag everything. Okay, so according to this website, chefsteps.com, I should place a thinly sliced of prosciutto, which I happen to conveniently have right here. If a chef isn't a chef until another chef addresses him as chef, who chef the first chef? Oh my gosh, chefception, everybody. Chefception. Right, I really want to dance to this beat right now, but I can't because I'm I'm dealing with delicate meat. This meat is very delicate, guys. Delicate meat. So I have a piece of prosciutto on a paper towel. I'm gonna stick another paper on top of it. That was English. I'm gonna throw the prosciutto 
in the microwave. Excuse me, Chef Mike. Chef Mike, can you cook that for a minute for me, please? Thank you, sir. Oh. If you skip Arm Day, make risotto. No, if you skip Arm Day, make hollandaise. <laughs> if you skip, if you skip, if you skip Arm Day, make hollandaise. All right, remove the top paper towel from the prosciutto. The meat should be slightly flexible at first, but it will crisp after a few seconds. Serve immediately or reserve at room temperature in a sealed plastic bag with silica packet if available. All right, so I'm okay with that. Just a rando quote. Yeah, Mrs. Lethal, random quote that you knew the number for? I don't know, I'm not buying it. I don't know if I'm buying that one. I don't have enough money for that. No, I got risotto on the other side. Oh gosh, I'm ruined. Okay. So supposedly, <laughs> supposedly I should be able to remove this. And uh, yep, yeah, actually that looks like that's gonna crisp up pretty nicely. Oh, it smells like porky goodness. Oh, porky goodness might be the best, might be the best goodness. All right, what I'm gonna do is throw this on like super low heat. Just to make sure that it's nice and warm. It's still not like juicy. The risotto is still not juicy. I wish I could really show you guys like what's really going on down here. It needs, it needs more. It needs more, we need more stock. This is where I'd be tempted to throw in some cream. Just to kind of cheat it up a little bit, but this, but this, this, this rice is thirsty. Wow, the thirst is real with the rice. So I'll give this a nice stir. This should help. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I'm gonna just go a little boop, just a whoop, whoop, just a little whoop, whoop. Just a little bit, just to get it moving. Cause I, I imagine the rice is gonna just thirst it all up. You know what I mean? So with that, and I'm gonna hit the lid on there just cause it's on low, the lowest possible heat that my, my stove has, you know what I mean? Just to keep it nice and warm. You can make a mean toaster strudel. Dude, I haven't had toaster strudels in so long. That actually sounds kind of good to me, actually. Oh man, the, the little, the, the, the sugar packet that they give you, AKA the crack pack, that's the real crack pack. Have you guys tasted that? That is just straight sugar. All right, here's an important thing when you're cooking enormous pork chops. These pork chops are probably about at least an inch to an inch and a half thick. Side one is cooked pretty nicely. Side B is also cooking very nicely. You gotta put these guys on its on on the fat cap. You gotta put them on the fat cap to help sear that as well, because that's really it's gonna render out some fat. It's gonna help it just taste good. In fact, I just lost some. Goodness gracious, what's going on over here? Hello, what are you doing? Why are you falling? Don't fall. Lean with it. Oh my God, the the sear on here is looking really really nice and delish. We gotta make sure you get it nice and all over there. What indicates to you that the, the rice is thirsty? Texture, flavor? So something oh, something oh? What, what, what's getting me is that any liquid I'm adding to the rice is a getting absorbed. So like I just added a bunch of stock and when I look in there, it's all dry. So the rice is just like, gimme, 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 gimme. And then I gotta keep adding more and more and more. Uh, which is not cool. Like I need it to just like behave. Oh man, I can't wait to show you guys these chops. Uh, I may have to reduce the heat because the, 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 the sear is looking good. But I guarantee I'm, I'm willing to put money down that, uh, that they're not done. So I have an instant read thermometer. They call it an instant read thermometer because it's basically instant. It'll tell you what temperature is going down for real. Yeah, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I need to get to like 140 or so, give or take. So I'm gonna let that just go. I'm gonna let it go and then maybe in a, in a minute or so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a flip rooney Something like that. We'll never know what happens. We'll never know until it happens. You know what I mean? We got a new follower. Who's that? Horug, Horugum? 
Hargoom, thank you so much for the follow, dude. I really appreciate it. Side one and side B. Uh, bacon potato, you caught that. I didn't think anybody was going to catch that. You have to read the book All Chefs Have Read. Omnibus Kitchen Confidential, A Cook's Tour by Anthony Bourbain. I did have to read uh, Phelan. I read his first book, I think. Was it Kitchen Confidential? I don't know. I read I read one of his books for, for school. I had to do that. Oh, we have... Oh, my gosh. This prosciutto is super crispy. Oh, my God. Dudes. We have pork chips. Oh, this might be... This is gonna be the snack craze that takes over the West. Prosciutto chips, guys. Slap a piece of prosciutto in between two pieces of uh, a paper towel and microwave it for a minute. Get the crispiest pork crispin that you could ever crisp. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna flip these. So I'm just gonna kind of babysit these chops a little bit. Make sure that we have a nice even browning crust on there. I'm pretty excited about it. It looks really, it's looking really sexy in there, I'll say. If you could only cook one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, clearly, without reading any other chat messages, it would definitely be macaroni and cheese. Um, it's Mrs. Lethal's favorite, and I feel like she would really embrace the challenge of macaroni and cheese every single day. If I had to pick number two, it would be doo-doo. No, it would be mac, uh, mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Oh, oh. Number three would be cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers. And I love making cheeseburgers and steak. I don't know. Move over pork rinds. Pork chips are taking over. The more expensive version, prosciutto pork chips, everybody. I don't even know if I should spoil the best part. Not Twitch really. That's cool, man. And BNV12, thank you so much for the follow. And uh, Ikea loves Kappa. Thank you guys so much for these follows. If I, if I miss a follow, it's not because I like hate you or anything like that. It's just, obviously I'm doing things and, and uh, I just miss it. But thank you so much everyone out there for, for hanging out uh, with the stream. I really, love, I really love you guys. I'm enjoying the stream so far. I feel like it's a good vibe we're having tonight. Um, a good stream so far. You guys may think otherwise, but if you're hanging out, probably not. This will be a great time for me to say if you are lurking out in the chat, just know that I love you very much. I'm never gonna like call you out and ask you to like say hello or anything like that, uh, unless it's like a super crazy rare occasion. But for the most part, nah. My lurkers are bay. I love my lurkers because I'm a lurker myself. I'm like I'm basically like a full time lurker on Twitch. But uh, if you are lurking and maybe you 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 pop the stream open and, and you kind of forgot about it, uh, and if you have not hit that follow button but you're enjoying the stream, I encourage you to pretty please hit that follow button because it does make me feel pretty good. Uh, helps the stream a lot and, uh, and again makes me feel really really tasty and delicious in the in the chest and uh and yeah man so i'm i don't know we have we have a big stream coming up tomorrow normally i don't stream on fridays i don't think i've ever streamed on a friday but uh, i'm streaming tomorrow because i'm going to be featured on twitch weekly so i'll be live tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern daylight time as well cooking up some some uh, copycat chinese food some sesame chicken with fried rice it doesn't look like I'm gonna get to actually like make the rice tonight like I had kind of planned to on stream. So I think tomorrow before the stream, I'm just gonna cook up a batch of white rice in my rice maker. Uh, and then just use that for the, uh, for the fried rice portion. Cause I can't use fresh rice. It has to be like cooked and cooled rice for it to actually really work with the fried rice portion of the program tomorrow. Lurkers for life. Stream is number one and highlighted in the creative section. Phelan, thank you so much, man. Gave a follow because this is the dopest cooking show on the internet. The Paradox Snake, man. I really appreciate those nice words. I really, really do appreciate it. <laughs> Always number one in my heart. Oh, Siler. But seriously, guys, I, I, I do this because I love you guys. I love the stream. I love the, I love the chat. I love to do this. Why is that wet? Oh, I know why it's wet. But like, I don't, I don't make money. This isn't my job. 
My job is boring. Like, I... Oh, God. Is that pork chop really that hot? Seriously? Oh, God. We're done. We're done! But, like, I stream because I love it. I don't stream because, like, this is my job. This is not my full-time, by any means, job. Um, but, yeah, I do this because I love it. And uh, you guys are balls. And I sincerely hope that I did not overcook these the way that my thermometer... No, oh, I still feel pretty squishy. Hold on a second. Thermometer, are you drunk? Thermometers might be a little bit drunk, so I'm going to leave these guys on the heat just for a moment. Just to let them maybe absorb a little bit more heat. But I'm just saying, like, I love you guys. Like, I do this because um, it's my passion and hanging out with you guys is so much fun. And I just have a, such a good time on the stream and, and learning with you guys and teaching you guys. And, you know, that's why I do it. If you, if you, if you come around and you think this is the dopest cooking show on Twitch, then darn it, I'm doing a good job then. <laughs> then darn it, I'm doing good. But uh, but seriously though, like, that means a lot to me, you know? People people stop by and they say, I wish I could, I wish I could donate, I wish, I wish this, I wish that. I'm like, you know what, no, like, you're just saying nice things to me about the stream and being, like, sincere about it and being legit means a lot more to me than a couple of dollars does. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, so here we go. I'm gonna, oh geez, that was kinda loud. I'm kinda gearing up towards the plating, the plating portion of the program, the PPP. The trip, the trip, the triple. Oh baby, a triple. So I've got my, my, the plate that I'm gonna use in the oven. And I'm gonna bake it for a little bit at a really low temperature. Just a really, just to kind of warm it up because once the risotto hits it, uh, I need the plate to like be able to retain some of the heat. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Cars, uh... Carcelicidule. Carcelicidule? Carcelicidule. Thank you for the follow. And DJ Sliced Cheddar. Beep, beep, beep. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Sorry if that offended you. <laughs> but no, thank you guys very much for those follows. I really do appreciate it. Uh, for those of you that are new out in the in the in the chat, just know that I, I just love that you're hanging out with us tonight. Even if you're lurking, if you're chatting, whatever it is. I'm just happy you're here. I'm usually live Tuesday and Thursday nights. I start around, usually on Tuesdays, it's been like 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and Thursdays, it's been around 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I stream for several hours into the night. Um, and then Saturday mornings, I generally do a cooking stream where I'm video, oh, not a cooking stream. Saturday mornings, I do a gaming stream that I mostly use as an opportunity to chat with ever who, whoever, is, or whoever is around. Uh, we chat and have a pretty good time, I think, playing casual games and watching the derps that I do in other games. Uh, I will be live tomorrow because of a promotion around 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight. I'm pretty excited about that, so I keep mentioning it probably a few too many times. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man, I'm really happy to, to see a bunch of new followers today, a bunch of new viewers. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the stream, though. I really, really am happy to be reaching, reaching you guys, and hopefully you're just enjoying enjoying the derps and the the love and the fun that we're having here hopefully all right there we go so i'm i'm mostly i'm fairly confident that the pork chops are done i gotta let them rest for a few moments though but i want to show you guys here px7200 thank you for the follow ixa lucy why you bark ixa thank you for the follow oh my gosh we got a tip too dr boom Chef JJ, said he care about JJ Cooper, thank you for the follow. Mrs. Lethal can have and Dr. Boom, free. Chef said he doesn't care about my couple dollars. Mrs. Lethal can have it. Heart. Dr. Boom, MD, thank you so much for the $5 tip. If there's anyone that's in chat and kind of paying attention to the stream, can I please get a heart emote? Your favorite heart emote. It doesn't have to be the normal one. If you've got a, if you've got a heart emote that you love, can I please get some in the chat? Um, 
because I love that very much. Parson, <laughs> Caustic. Caustic, you troll. <laughs> I love you, Caustic. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Boom. I really appreciate it, dude. And thank you, everyone in the chat, for those hearts. I really, that means a lot to me as well to see those hearts. Dr. Boom is supporting the, the stream in such a way that he doesn't have to do, but he's chosen to take his hard earned dollars and put them towards the stream. It really just means so much to me, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you, Gaulus98, for the follow. Really appreciate that as well. What did I do? Are you being serious? Kostik, it seemed like you were being a troll because I said, can we get some hearts in the chat? And then you repeated what I said as such, in such a way that, in such a way that, well, whatever. Whatever, it's, it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Symbols, thank you very much for the follow symbol. Okay, so for, for real though, guys, look at the crust. Look at the sear that I got on these pork chops. Like, this is beautiful. That is Flavor Central right there. I'm not gonna say Flavor Town, because Flavor Town sucks. I typed it, oh. <laughs> nice. Elemental Scary, the Dorito is the best heart. You know what, you might be absolutely be right. You might absolutely be right. Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for those hearts. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot. Like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna harp on it, but it just means a lot to me, guys, seriously. So we got pork, the pork is gonna rest. The pork is gonna rest for just a momo. And I'm gonna close this so I don't kill the battery. And I'm gonna throw the time back in the refrigeratoro. And I'm gonna put the basil back in the refrigerator. Yes, yes, how are you? How are you? Yes, yes, who's that? We got echoes around you. And Katie Gaming, thank you very much, both of you, for those follows. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Hopefully you've enjoyed the stream for however long that you've been hanging out with us. All of a sudden. <laughs> and the Red Stalker. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you all very much for these follows. Um, it helps me understand that you're enjoying the stream and that just means a lot to me. You want a grilled cheese? Grilled cheese sounds delicious right now. Maddie 31 thank you so much for the follow as well. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the kitchen. Happy Thursday. Hope you've had a good week. <laughs> Enjoy the stream, dude. Hopefully, so like the, the trick here is uh, like we're getting all these followers and I, I really appreciate you guys all stopping by, hanging out, hitting that follow button. If you come back tomorrow or for a future stream, that's when I know. That's when I know it's real. That's when I know it's real. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I don't know. But I'm gonna check the risotto now. It looks as though we're pretty good. We got a little bit of sauciness. The, 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 it's dark. <laughs> it's dark in here. But we got lots of mushrooms. We got lots of, of shallot and garlic and some salt, some Parmigiano, Reggiano. Oh, that's really good. It's so rich with flavor. A lot of people don't give mushrooms a chance because they're just packed with, with glutamates. And that's that umami flavor that people talk about that I used to hate. When when the whole term of like umami came out a couple years ago, I absolutely hated it. I detested it. I was like, that's a stupid term. Why would you call something the sixth taste? But it really is. It's like earthy and just, it adds, it's, it's a depth of flavor that you can't really get with a lot of other ingredients. It's so good. King of Neptune. Thank you for entering our solar system. Wait, you're already in our solar system. Thank you for entering our atmosphere and, and hitting that follow button. I really do appreciate it, my man. Much preach, much preach. Do, 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 do. Have I ever had Marmite? No. Any extreme portion of the day. All the bacon, all the bacon. This is the food Bob Ross. Hey dude, what's up? C Meta? C Meta? 
<laughs> What's up, C-Meta? I wouldn't say I'm really the Bob Ross. I mean, I can go Bob Ross. If you really wanted me to, I could just be like, really quick, just be like, we have now a, a happy cloud of a pork chop over here. Uh, I can just show you really quick. So if you make a mistake with the pork chop, it's okay. It's okay. It's a happy little mistake. You just, like, like when I took the temperature of the pork, I made a puncture hole. I just, I just happily flipped the pork chop. And then we had a happy little mistake. Everything was okay with the pork. It looks perfectly fine. And everything is awesome with it. So that's not even a concern that we have. So at this point in the stream, I need to start thinking about plating. And maybe it's about time that I actually cut up those happy pork chops into edible portions that we can actually digest and it looks good because it's important to note that there there are no mistakes in cooking you can easily fix them and when you have a nice palate you can just brush it right over and everything just looks beautiful and you can pretend like you meant to do it that way the whole time but i'm not the bob ross of cooking oh i love this song I love this song, guys. When did I turn on Home Shopping Network? Be the Strange, Shoe Nugget, Element Scary. Thank you guys so much for those follows. I really do appreciate, really do appreciate. Because I want to wait, because I want to stay, no, I want to stay. I want to break away, because I want to stay, because I want to stay, and I want to stay. Don't break away, don't break away. Okay, here we go. Pork chop time. We call it Cajun. We call it overly caramelized. Let's check out this pork chop, guys. It looks delicious on the outside. It looks delicious out here. Let's look. Let's look on the inside. All right, so I cut down the contour of the bone here. So then I'm gonna come around the top and just kind of cut in following the bone there. And then I should be able to cut right through. So I have a nice bone portion that I can add to the plate or just gnaw on, which I will probably do. All right, so this tail portion here, I'm gonna take this. <laughs> it's a little fatty. That piece was a little fatty. Because I want to stay. Let me cut off a little bit of the fat and then I'll try this again. And you're a senpai. Thank you so much, guys, for those follows. I really do appreciate it. Does that go to Lucy? No, I just kind of threw that. <laughs> Watching this for as long as possible. Thank you, Shoe Nugget. I really appreciate the kind words, dudes. Dudes? Just regular dude. All right, so I'm going to cut nice slices here. The pork is perfect. The pork is absolutely perfect. Yes. It is juicy and moist. Do you guys like it moist? Ooh, it's nice. It's real nice. It is real. How many times can I say it? Ooh, yeah, look at that. That looks really good. That's probably good for one, one little glamour shot. I need to do a fancy mixed drink segment if I'm a drinker. I am a drinker, but I don't have enough knowledge. I don't have like, I kind of just drink what I have on hand at the moment. And at the moment, it's the last dregs of my wine. Which it, it goes good with. It goes good with. So I think I'm gonna do some sort of like fancy 
I'm gonna do some sort of fancy plating, guys. Yeah, I hope it's so much time. Oh, I'm excited. Jumakin and Z Deef and <laughs> Extraterrestrial Baby Monk Brett Michael 15. Thank you guys for these follows coming in. If I missed you, it's not because I hate you or anything like that. It's just because I missed you, and I'm very sorry about that. But uh, lots of things are happening at once. <laughs> But thank you so much for all these follows, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. I'm Chef Lethal. I went to Le Cordon Bleu and said, you know what? The restaurant world sucks and I hate it. Let me stream. Let me, uh, let me cook stuff for people on the internet. That's basically my story. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I got a nice hot plate. Hot plate. Dude, one of my pet peeves is when like, I go to a restaurant and people will, will, like servers will put a plate on my table and they're like, careful, it's hot. And I'm just like, not really. I mean, this is actually legitimately hot. But uh, they'll be like, careful, it's hot. And, I, and I, I hold it and I'm like, suck an egg, man. It's not, that, it's not that hot. So I got some really nice risotto here. Oh. Normally I'd try, I would try to plate this on stream, like on the actual camera, but I have the pork here. Look at my pork. Okay, so it's not as like juicy. I, okay, Gordon Ramsay would probably yell at me for this risotto. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Cause it's not as like flowy as, as he would want it to be. Things happen. Things happen, yeah. Ow, that's, that's, that's actually pretty warm. Oh yeah, English only in chat, please. The mods had it right. Gin Paradise, the Papa Bear. Thank you guys very much for those follows. I really do appreciate. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> Still doesn't understand shipping. Mrs. Lethal, I love you more than words. <laughs> All right, so we have some really flavorful, uh, some risotto here. I'm gonna just layer the pork right there. Looking at this, I'm not gonna add the bone to the plate because I feel like that would be overkill. What do I have left? I have cheese and herbs and prosciutto chips. I don't need a glove anymore. And whenever you tell someone it's the hot, <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Let me move that over. That's nice and warm. All right, we'll just move this around over here. You know what? I did actually pretty decent today. I did not make the biggest mess of all time, which is usually kind of my MO with the stream here. So there, we've got a little bit of pork and, uh, and, and, and uh, risotto action. It's a mushroom risotto with some prosciutto in there. I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan. Just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. That looks pretty good. I am excited about that. I've got some basil chiffonade here, just some little ribbons of, uh, of basil that I'm gonna just place right there in the center. Very good. And then I've got these pork chips, which is dried, like basically I, I just cooked up this prosciutto in the microwave for just a few minutes. Actually one minute to be fair. And I'm just gonna try to like, just try to decorate the plate a little bit with the prosciutto here. Maybe I can make a little tower. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So this is where I advertise my, my Instagram page, guys. If you're into food pictures and stuff like that, my Instagram is definitely the place for you to go. Because I do these glamour shots at the end of the, at the, end of the stream where I make this food and I, I take the effort to make it look really nice and then I, I post it to the Instagram. Generally speaking, it's not, like, admittedly, it's not usually this, like tonight. It probably won't go up tonight, although we're pretty much on time tonight. So maybe tonight, but definitely by tomorrow, this picture will go on my Instagram page, along with cat pictures and lots of other food photos. Um, I'm sure a moderator will put, put a link in the chat with my social link, but there's also, like if you just click, like I have all the panels and stuff on the, on the Twitches. If you're like on PC, it's down there. If you're mobile, it is over there or over there. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's all available. Did I say hi to Gin Paradise? I think I did, but Magnum, Magnum's wow. 
Thank you so much for the follow. Limna, thank you for dropping the social link. All right, let me take my let me take my nice picture here. This is actually a beautiful photo. I say actually, of course it is. Duh. <laughs> but no, I, I kind of like the balance here. I wish the risotto was a little bit runnier. Like I would definitely get points taken off of this if uh, if this were like a school dish if I had to make for a, for a teacher or something like that. But I'm okay with that. The pork blinked. What is the price of one portion? It depends on how much you're willing to pay. <laughs> Wait. So do you do social eating streams as well? No, I, I don't do that, Weenie. So like right now I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat a little bit on stream. Um, it's technically sort of kind of social eating, but I'm not gonna change the category of social eating because it's, it's part of the stream and I can still call it creative. I found you on Dream to Stream, you're new to the team. Is it MTL? MTL price. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by, dude. I'm, I am part of the stream team on Dream to Stream. If you are a streamer out there, Dream to Stream is a community of other streamers and YouTubers, mostly streamers, um, that get together and help each other out by growing and you find new people that you wanna, you wanna follow and stuff like that. Uh, so Wolfie Queen Alpha, thank you very much for the follow and MTL Price 31, thank you very much for those follows, guys. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, I don't necessarily switch to the social eating category because it does get a little trolly. Otherwise, I don't know. I've, I've had mixed feelings about actually being in that category, to be honest. It feels weird to me sometimes. So anyway, I gotta, I gotta eat the risotto first. This is my favorite part of the stream. All right. So there's one thing I gotta let you guys know about me. This is, this is what's real about me, okay? When I cook something, I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you all the best things in life. I'm gonna tell you the real about what I cooked, okay? So if it's delicious, I'm gonna tell you what's delicious. You ready for this? Here's the deal. Shiki Gamey 2010. Thank you very much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing awesome. So, the rice is overcooked. The rice is overcooked and I wish it was saucier, but the flavor is pretty, pretty awesome. I'm gonna eat it with a little bit of the basil. The rice is way overcooked. So, either using the procedure I did, I should have taken it off the heat completely for some of the time, or something different, but the rice is way overcooked. It's mushy. There's no bite to it. There's absolutely no bite to it. It's just kind of mush. It tastes really, really, really good. We got two types of mushrooms in there, the cremini and the porcini. So it's adding really nice depth of flavor. It's just overcooked. Whatever. The pork chips in there taste really good though. <laughs> let me let me get my small knife here and get into some of this actual pork. Let me taste some of the pork by itself. Mm. Okay. So the pork is good. The rice might be overcooked, but the pork is not. The pork is delicious. It's perfectly. It's a perfect temperature. It may actually be a few little degrees, like looking at it, it might be a slightly, just ever so slightly overcooked, but it's still good. It's still juicy and goes really well with the, uh, really well with the, with the rice. Mmm. Mmm. So, a bite with all of this together. That was this pork. I had the pork, I had the prosciutto chip, I had the basil, and I had the rice. All together is, is what I feel you want in a bite of food. You know what I mean? It's like, 
The meat is like the, the, the cracker, the, the bottom layer, the palate of the whole thing. And then the, the richness of the, the mushroom flavor on top of it with the, not only the crispiness, the texture of the prosciutto, but also just the, the meatiness that the prosciutto adds to the whole dish is really, really good. It's not just there for decoration. Like it adds a ton of its own flavor and I'm really enjoying this. Mm. Mm hmm. Maddie, thank you so much for being here, dude. That should be ahead of the rules. Oh, snap. Um, so, the realness is that the cooking portion of the stream is done. All right. So, I actually haven't eaten in, in several hours, so I'm probably gonna nom down on some of this. Uh, if there's anyone around that wants to like chat, if you guys want to have a conversation with me and start asking questions, or if you just guys want to, if you guys just want to chat for a little bit, I mean, we can basically do social eating, um, where I stuff my face with delicious food that I just cooked, and you guys can we can just we can just talk. I'm okay with that. Otherwise, like, I'm okay with pretty much anything. I don't want to. <laughs> Cat Dug Dog, what's up, dude? Uh, I don't necessarily want to change it to social eating. Because I don't really like, I don't like what that brings. I don't think anybody even uses it anymore, do they? Besides, I might be, <laughs> I might still be highlighted on creative. So I'm just going to eat. And apparently miss my mouth. Pretzel buns. Maddie, thank you so much for stopping by, dude. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, Rosie, you were here when I made pretzels, right? It's pretty much the same thing. You just form it into buns instead of... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Do do ba, do do. This is still your food time. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> also, guys, I want to mention that, like, Mrs. Lethal is is the MVP of the stream. Obviously, obviously, she's MVP of my life. Obviously. So because we hit the um, the tip goal already, I'm starting to kind of plan out when I want to have uh, discussion with her. So basically. It was kind of determined by my chat that when we hit the goal, the tip goal for a wireless microphone setup, um, we have like a, a podcast sort of stream with Mrs. Lethal. So I'm kind of planning that out. So if you're interested in, in hanging out with us for that, I'd really appreciate to see you guys out because it would not only be just me talking to her, but it would mean just us talking to you guys as well. And you could pretty much almost ask us anything and, and I'll semi sort of pseudo interview her about things and uh, it should be pretty interesting. I'll definitely be announcing when that stuff kind of happens on the Twitter page and stuff like that. Um, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, like totally do that because you totally should. Mm. Hi baby. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just cutting up Mrs. Lisa some food. Some pork. From pegboard. Kill him all with love. Oh, I don't care if they're talking. Well, you probably, you guys probably can't hear the music all too much, so I'm just singing in your ears, and it's probably like bleeding. Cool. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I don't give a flip. Pew, pew. All right. right <laughs> don't engage. I'm married.
There you go, Mrs. Lethal. You're welcome. Huh? It's very mushroomy. I can give you some. Whoa, I don't care if they put us down. I don't care if the sky falls around us. We're running out of pink cloud. Oh, oh. There you go, Boop. You're welcome. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't care. One shoe. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. Much appreciated. Is the bone in the pork shop hard? T minor T, it's the hardest. Mm. It's the hardest. What are you making me tonight? Santan. Welcome to the stream, dude. Uh, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of like in the finishing portion, and I totally did not give. I definitely did not just give Mrs. Lethal my fork. Tyson, please. Tyson Fox. It's delicious. I got the I got the thumbs up from Mrs. Lethal, even the risotto. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Lethal's giving the pork plus risotto thumbs up. She doesn't even like mushrooms, guys. That's that's when you know it's okay. Mmm. T minor T, thank you so much, dude, for the follow. I really appreciate it, and appreciate you saying that you like the stream. Cause I like, I like that you like the stream. That's right. Even though you hit it, you hit us quite near the end of the stream. I still appreciate that you're hanging around, dude. <laughs> I'm just watching Tyson right now, cause I'm like moving around the, the the cord for my microphone, and he's like. He's trying to play with it. And by trying, I mean he is actually doing so. Tyson's my kitten. For those of you that are new to the stream, I'm not like thinking, I'm not like imagining people. Maybe I am a little bit, but we don't talk about that. So I got me a Tyson. Just hang out here, dude. He gets so limp, look at this. He gets so limp whenever I hold him. He's just like, whatever, I wanna bite you. Don't bite, dude, just hang out. Just hang out while I eat, okay? All right, bro. It's fine. I promise he's not dead. I love this cat so much. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rosie, that's okay, dude. You like this a lot. What's up? Is that now Nalthen? Nalthens? I don't know how to say your name, dude. But welcome to the stream, man. I appreciate. Oh God. Okay, now he's licking my arm. Hey, bro. What's up? Hold on. Hold on. Don't bite me. Look at me. Hey. I love you, bro. Okay. He's like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want any of this. Good boy. Good boy. Zombie Tyson. Pretty much. Pretty. Your cat barked before. Uh, there's been no barking. Our dog has barked, but not, not so much the cats. But yeah, I'm usually live like Tuesday and Thursday evenings, like Mrs. Lethal just put there. Um, on Tuesdays, I'm generally live around 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Thursdays around uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. I will be live tomorrow around 4 p.m. Eastern for a s very special stream that I'm super duper excited about. And then I'll be back to normal next week with uh, Tuesday and Thursdays. <laughs> Working Chef, I think I'm all out of jokes. Welcome to the stream, Working Chef. I might be all out of jokes, but uh, there were there were at least one. There was at least one in the stream. Mm. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys. Also, Mrs. Lethal or, or 
Mrs. Lethal and I are at a portion in our, a portion? We're at a, a position in our relationship where we meow at each other <laughs> when we want things. So I'm, I'm chatting with you guys and I look over and she's holding her fork aggressively and she just goes meow. And I know I better get some pork on this woman's plate because if I don't, I'm gonna get forked to death. And that does not sound nearly as good as you might think. Here you go, miss, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Plate, please. Plate, please. <laughs> Gee, it's funny that all the mushrooms are still on your plate, Mrs. Lethal. <laughs> You're welcome, boo. Oh my goodness, but what's up, everybody? Yes, Working Chef! Okay, I'll, I'll, I, this, this, that's a good point, Working Chef. I will announce, I will re-announce the announcement since you're here. And it's been like two hours since I announced the announcements. I'm being featured tomorrow on Twitch Weekly. I, 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 was, uh, I was inspired by, your, <laughs> by your, your, your promotion. I was like, I want to do that. So I did it, Working Chef. They reached out to me. Moe's reached out to me two hours before the stream and said, hey, can you, we're gonna do it tomorrow. And I was like, I kind of had plans tomorrow, but okay. And uh, I'm streaming tomorrow night. I'm streaming tomorrow night. Uh, we're making Chinese food. I'm gonna make sesame chicken and fried rice on stream. But uh, I'm gonna be featured on Twitch Weekly at the normal time. And then uh, Mo said that they're gonna rate us. So uh, I've been preparing my moderators and preparing my chat for the mayhem. That will probably happen. What's after Gorgonzola? Dr. Boo, I don't know if I'm gonna tell you. Did you get a video to, of course I did Working Chef. I, sp I took a lot of time, spent, I spent a lot of time on my video. I'm very proud of it. Um, I've been recommending everybody that they not only hang out in my chat, cause I'm gonna start around the same time as Twitch Weekly, but I'm asking that my, my, fellow, my fellow community members also hang out in Twitch Weekly in that stream and, and try to catch the, the highlight video because I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy about the way it came out. Can we have a prep list to follow along? Santan, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really write a bunch of this stuff down on the, on, the, on the computer. Eventually, one day, I'd like to figure out a way I can like go through my, my old videos and like write out all my recipes or or rough recipe type things and like provide it to you guys, but I don't know exactly how I want to do that. For the most part though, my recipes tonight, like when I was making them, especially the risotto, uh, I used a combination of recipes from the seriouseats.com site. If you just go to that site and search for risotto, I used a hybrid combination of the recipe that they have for like the perfect risotto and also the mushroom risotto and kind of did my own thing with it. Music, oh, you know what, I didn't say hi. Music Never Sheeps, <laughs> thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. That is an awesome name, by the way. Really appreciate it. MG Kitty Cat. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. I just jumped on a mushroom. Why don't you throw some ketchup on it, Mrs. Lethal? Maybe it'll make it better. I'm just kidding. She's right there. Like, she'll yell at me. The only fungus I want on my food is, chai is cheese. I'll take that. Touche. <laughs> Do you not like fun guys? Nope. Nope. She sure doesn't. Which is amazing because she's married to me and I'm the fungiest guy. <laughs> is that pain? Calamity? <laughs> it looks like maybe, maybe, did you, did I buy this house from you? Hopefully not. That would be really weird. <laughs> Hello from Norway. Ithun, Ithun? Dude, isn't it like, like super late for you? Isn't it like super late? But welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for coming out. Exactly what you said, Daddy Zimmer girl. <laughs> Boop. 
But, but, but. She's just in it for the food. I would normally agree with you, Rosie. I would normally agree with you, but I snatched her up before I really knew how to cook. So I had something other than the drugs to woo her to stay with me. And now that we're like adults and we're like flourishing with each other, I can tantalize her with delicious foods and my rugged good looks. I mean, really look at this guy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I keep her around. I don't let her run away too too long. <laughs> She's dating for the food. Right, exactly. <laughs> Behind you, is there a smaller room with just a window? No, calamity there is not. <laughs> that would be really weird if you were the previous homeowner to my house. That would be sick. 3 a.m. for the UK, oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for being here, man. Thank you everybody for being here. I tell you what, I mean, we're just chatting and having a good time, but I do need to kind of like wind the stream down so I can kind of eat and clean at the same time. I do still have to, to wake up in the morning and go to actual work. So I'm gonna wind down the stream right now. Hold on, I'm gonna wind down the stream. There's nothing in there anymore. That's a bummer. I drank it all. But um, guys, seriously, thank you so much for being here tonight and, and any other night or previous night or other night, I don't know, man. Um, but seriously, thank you so much, especially tonight, uh, for being here, because it is tonight, and I, I live in the present. I live in the now. But, uh, no, tonight was a lot of fun. I feel like I was, I was a little bit chill, a little bit more on the chilled side, which I think is, is, is okay. Um, because especially Tuesday's stream was, like, hype central and ridiculous and crazy, but tonight was awesome. We had a lot of really great followers, a lot of really awesome viewers, amazing viewers. Pine Calamity, thank you so much for that follow, dude. I really appreciate it. Uh, we got some tips. We had Lucy Cam. We had Tyson appearances. We had other cat. We had everything. Tonight was the total package. So, guys, if you're out there and you're new to the stream, thank you so much for being here. I'll be live tomorrow night, or tomorrow, I guess it's technically afternoon, around 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the special Friday stream that I've never done before because we're being featured on Twitch Weekly. It's going to be lit up in here. So I hope you can make it at least for a moment to, to, to join the hype. Uh, if not, I'm sure we'll get clips and highlights of things that, that will be awesome and we'll throw them out on the Twitters and stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter, hit me up on the Instagrams. Uh, all those links can be, can be got by my social command or all of the description panels, either down here or over here if you're on mobile. Uh, if you do the, the thing and then the thing, you get it all. Um, all the links. For, for that stuff. I post all of my stupid information on Twitter, Instagram for all my pictures and cat pictures and food pictures. Uh, Asher, Chloe, Kara, Ben, Nelsa. Thank you very much, the three of you, for those follows. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I really do appreciate those follows. And we got a host from Chloe. Chloe, thank you for the host, but we are gonna end, I'm ending the stream kinda, kinda soon. I would say enjoy work, but I know that business, yeah, back in work Saturday. That's cool, Santan, thank you so much for hanging out. King of Neptune, you had fun. That means a lot to me. Your kind words, guys, really means a lot to me. Um, I don't think we're gonna do a raid tonight because I'm not prepared for that sort of, uh, for that sort of encouragement. Encouragement? Uh, for that sort of, and, uh, and. I meant whatever. Find somebody that you enjoy watching and go hang out with them. Um, Kara Benelsa, uh, thank, did I thank you for the follow? I don't know if I did or not. I probably did, I probably didn't, I don't even know, but thank you so much. Guys, I love you. You are all amazing. You make this so much fun for me. Um, hopefully you can come out tomorrow. If you can't, I'll be live again on Tuesday night uh, around 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I may do a gaming stream on Saturday morning, I don't know, but if you're on Twitch and you see me live, I'm gaming on Saturday morning. J plays 2300 thank you so much for the follow as well but everyone everyone else that's going to be it for me tonight so i thank you so much for hanging out with me let me turn the music so that you guys can hear it more clearly oh yeah there we go and uh i'll just tell you all very much that i love you and thank you for joining the stream thank you for hanging out with us and no matter what you always have to remember to always 